Hey everyone. Give people a, a moment to hop on in stream. It's good to see you here. Can you hear me okay? It's great to have you here. I'm excited to play my favorite game of favorite games, and it's my favorite game. Give people, you have two minutes to join the stream before we get started. Can we get a favorite game hype? Can we get some pog champs? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm fine and dandy this fine April morning. Fine and dandy to play my favorite. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you all here. I hope you're all excited. You know, Undertale, such a classic game. A lot of people have requested it. I'm excited to finally be playing it. Not that I've played it before. It's good to have you here. You know, we're gonna make friends with all the characters and then maybe do a few killings afterwards. Who knows? I already know I'm going to love the experience and I can't wait. You have one minute to get in. <laughs> People are losing their minds. Uh, it's great to see you all. Hope you're having a good start to April. You ready for Undertale? You ready to meet Sans? Sans Undertale? He's my favorite character. Mr. Undertale. I can't wait to face him. Here he's a tough battle. And he always speaks that his name is Sans because when he types, when he says anything, he speaks in Comic Sans. Sans, Comic Sans. Something kind of sus about that guy, don't you think? I think Sans vent it. Are you all ready to start the playthrough? I think we've waited long enough. I think people have had a chance to get in here. Are you all ready to start our new playthrough? I can't hear ya. You all excited for Undertale? April Fools, everybody! You just got pranked by Fortnite Sans Under! April Fools! We got you good! <laughs> no, of course, it's Fortnite Friday! We're playing Fortnite today! With the new Sans Fortnite skin! It's gonna be amazing! It's finally time for Fortnite Fridays! Everyone's been requesting it. Can I get the Victory Royale? Everyone's been waiting for it. <laughs> you just got pranked. Let's, 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 let's stop that music. <laughs> I can't. I can't take much more of it. Oh, God. Thanks for watching the stream. <laughs> Oh god, no, like, honestly, like, could you imagine if that was it? Here we go. Because we've been tormented by this man for so many years. <laughs> Today's his last day. Let me turn it down a little more. Yeah. You guys hear it okay? <laughs> Here we go.
Oh, someone built a sads on the Minecraft server. Someone built sads. Oh, Mr. Undertale's on the Minecraft server. Not anymore. We're ending this shit today. Give me one second. There we go. <laughs> you won't see him again. Try to go back a long time ago. You're never going back. <laughs> I'm so sick of this meme and character. We're laying him the rest. <laughs> pre recorded? It's not pre recorded. Excuse me. You know how many characters I had to kill to get to this guy? Pre recorded. One, two, three. One, two, three. You want me to go into item? You want me to go to the second page? Pre-record it. I think I'd pull that cheap of a trick. <laughs> he's photoshopped. No, he's not. I've just had it with this man. And I'm gonna get him! All we need is one take. <laughs> Halfway! <laughs> Listen, I know you didn't add to me before. It's very distracting with Sans dancing in the top left corner. <laughs> Somewhere in there, I can feel it. There's a glimmer of a good person inside you. A memory of someone who once wanted to do the right thing. Someone who, in another time, might have even been. French. Come on, buddy. Don't you love this game? Do you remember me? Mr. Undertale? Let's forget all this, okay? I can go back to being the spooky skeleton man. Let's heal. And let's kill him. Well, it was worth a shot. Guess you like doing things the hard way, huh? Strange. Before all this, I was secretly hoping we could be friends. Fuck you! I always thought the anomaly was doing this because they were unhappy. Mouse is in the corner! It's fine. Do a mouseless! Some good food, some bad laughs, some nice friends. We're going for blood! <laughs> it's pre-recorded! How dare you! I guarantee you no one else playing this game has named their character Fortnite. Only with the power of Fortnite Fridays can we finally lay him the rest. You'll keep consuming timelines over and over until, well, hey, take it from me, kid. Someday, you gotta learn when to quit. Quit when you're dead! Get out of my head! <laughs> and that day's today.
Because you see, all this fighting is tiring me out. Not me, but I've still got plenty of energy. Eat a steak. You keep pushing me, but I'll be forced to use my special attack. My special attack sound familiar? Get ready, because after the next move, I'm gonna use it. Don't want to see it, now would be a good time to die. I think I'm good on the old that. But it's not looking so good for you. Well, here goes nothing. Are you ready? Survive this and I'll show you my special attack. Here we go! is dead! special attack. Are you ready? Here goes nothing. We're in the clear. Yep. That's right. It's literally nothing. And it's not gonna be anything. Either. Haha, <laughs> you get it. I know I can't beat you. One of your turns. You're just gonna kill me. So, uh, I've decided it's not going to be your turn ever. I'm just going to keep having my turn until you give up. Even if it means we have to stand here until the end of time. Peesh. The day the memes died. <laughs> You'll get bored here. If you haven't gotten bored already, I mean. And then you'll finally quit. Let's pre-record it. It's not? Hi. Let me spell out hi. <laughs> I know your type. You're uh, very determined, aren't you? You'll never give up even if there's uh, absolutely no benefit to persevering whatsoever. If I can make that clear, no matter what, you'll just keep going. Not out of any desire for good or evil. Just because you think you can. And because you can, you have to. default dance I know. <laughs> but now you've reached the end there is nothing left for you so uh in my personal opinion the most determined thing you can do here play some fortnite even if i mute that now it still plays in the alert i can't stop it to completely give up and do literally anything else.
Well, everyone make yourselves comfy. We might be here a while. <laughs> I'm, uh, wait until he dies. He was closing his eyes a bit there. There we go. Just wait till the kill is over. <laughs> I can wait all day. The meme must die. Come on, Mr. Undertale. Let's take you back to the home. He's closing his eyes. How did you make it here in 18 minutes, your past world record? <laughs> I am the world record. Ah, oh, come on, you were asleep. Have a nap. I gotta wait again. <laughs> How's everyone's day going? Are you well? You haven't even- we haven't even got to the good part yet of what's actually happening in the stream. Cause I already know what we're doing after this. Just have a sleep, Sans. It's time for a quick nap. It's the only one you're gonna get. Tag the box over. <laughs> he just keeps fucking dancing. <laughs> How long is that alert gonna play? Oh, that's gonna drive me insane. Did you really think you'll be able to? <laughs> There's something about him dying to the default dance that makes it worse. <laughs> So, I guess that's it, huh? Just... Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> well... I'm going the Grillbies. This is the equivalent of, like, dabbing on his grave. Pyrus, do you want anything? Sans is dead. seen a plant. Cry before. Huh? You must be the one that the flower just warned me about. Howdy. Um, what kind of monster are you? Sorry, I cannot tell. Now, now. There's no need to fight. Why not settle this? Over a nice cup of tea. <laughs> we got him. You've been killed by Fortnite Sands. It's just me, your best friend. I can help, I can be useful to you. I promise I won't get in your way. I can help. I can... I can... Please. Don't kill me.
Let's kill them all. Greetings. I am Fortnite. <laughs> Thank you. Your power awakened me from death. My human soul. My determination. They were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confused. Our plan had failed, hadn't it? Why was I brought back to life? You. With your guidance. I realized the purpose of my, my reincarnation. Power. Together, we eradicated the enemy. And became strong. HP. Attack. Defense, gold, experience, love. Every time a number increases, that feeling, that's me. Fortnite, now. Now we have reached the absolute. There is nothing left for us to hear. Let us erase this pointless world and move on to the next. Right. You are a great partner. We'll be together forever, won't we? Stream's over. No. Okay. We're not done, though. We're not done at all. <laughs> because I, a little birdie has informed me... There's a way to keep going. Let me... Let me set this up. So now we wait 10 minutes. We wait 10 minutes. And we have something more that's gonna happen. You bastard. But you see, here's my logic, right? All right, let me turn, I'm gonna mute the sub sounds. One second. Mute the sub sounds because I can't take any more default dance for like five minutes. There we go. There we go. Everyone's always wanted me to play Undertale, but I insist that we play this on my own terms. And a little birdie has informed me that if you kill everyone the first try, it'll alter a few things when you play it through the second. So now people are gonna get what they want. Default dance is still going somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Happy, like, April Fools. We're playing Undertale, but this is the save file we're starting the game on. <laughs> now you get to see me make friends with all the characters like everyone asks. 
And I get to do it on my terms, and you get to see the genocide run! It's a win-win! <laughs> we have to wait ten minutes! We have to wait ten minutes for this. Uh, in the meanwhile, while we're waiting, uh, do you guys want to see Undyne die? Because I actually recorded it for you. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this up. Because we're, we're going to be here a little while. Oh, I can't, I... Okay, it, it doesn't have audio. Uh, but just while we're waiting. Because we're going to be here a while. <laughs> this is the only interesting bit of the genocide run for me, honestly. Uh, killing this character. Everything else was a grind, but I wanted to make sure that we got Mr. Spooky Skeleton. So it's pre-recorded. This is pre-recorded, because I did this earlier. I wanted to start with Sans. This was the only interesting fight in the game outside of Sans, to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, we killed her while we were going. That was fun. Let's uh, sit tight. I think I have to stay tabbed into the game for like the solid 10 minutes for this to work. <laughs> but you're all welcome to the stream. Uh, let's just sit tight. Are you on an airplane? <laughs> let, me, let me turn down the turbulence. There we go. You're all welcome to the stream. We're playing Undertale today. But we're doing it my way. And these are the terms that I have set out. Now you can all help me from this point on. I want to get the true pacifist ending. I want to make friends with all the lovable characters in this world. Won't you help me? Won't you help me? Uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a menacing context for the entire stream. People might join late, and they won't have any idea what's happening or what we've already done. That's the thing. People won't know. We are legitimately streaming Undertale today. But again, it, this is my terms. Now you wish I was playing Fortnite. <laughs> Akion, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you to everyone who's given gift subs and that. Though I thank you for ten earlier. Thank you to everyone who gave bits there. Vectro, two bullets, Mr. Maniac. Small G, we gave twenty earlier. Brit gave 10. Mayo. Jesus Christ, guys. Sit tight with me six minutes and we will be starting Undertale. We just have to wait a few minutes. A few minutes. I'm going to rename the stream title to the Let's Be Friend Everyone. That way people know what route I'm doing, if they join the stream late. <laughs> They're not gonna know this context and you better not tell them! So how many minutes do I have to wait for the game to basically reboot? It does reboot after a bit. Ten minutes total. Okay. Ten minutes tabbed in. 
Make yourself comfortable, get a snack. We're playing all of Undertale today. We just gotta brave the winds for a little bit. We're sworn to secrecy. Are we in the Alps, apparently? Listen, I never said anything about Undertale. I never asked for this. <laughs> well, I'm playing everyone's favorite game, aren't I? This is what you want it. RT's bathtub. Jesus, just gave 10,000 bits. RT, you filled me with sands, mees. What the fuck? Please turn off the drain, please. Oh fuck, RT, the sands are moist. What? You gave 100 quid for that. <laughs> You're not spoiling the full story, are you? No, no, I'm not. I was just told something interesting happens if you um, do it this way first. So why not? We're gonna do a true pacifist run. And I'm not deleting my safe. I'm waiting for it to reboot. Well, if thank you for a thousand bits, I'm willing to offer a blood oath for my secrecy. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. So what hack is computer at uninstall Undertale? But why? We're gonna play it the way everyone wants to. We're gonna do it both ways. What's the problem? <laughs> this is a saw trap. <laughs> I want to play a game. <sighs> Please don't jump scare us. I don't know what's gonna happen when uh, the game kicks in. Someone keeping track of time, right? Like how much longer do we have to wait? We do get a calm before the storm. Here we are. Interesting. You want to go back? You want to go back to the world? You destroyed. It was you who pushed everything to its edge. It was you who led the world to its destruction. But you cannot accept it. We think you are above consequences. Yes, that's right. Exactly. Perhaps... We can reach compromise. You still have something I want. Give it to me. And I will bring this world back. Why not? Then it is agreed. You will give me your soul. I don't see an issue here. Then it is done. Let's restart the game. Gotta recapture the window.
Let's play Undertale. Mount Ebot. 201X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. We did it! We got the Sonic Heroes ending! <laughs> I don't see how that's relevant here. <laughs> Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! <laughs> no, this is Undertale. Let's begin game. Name the fallen human. What do we call ourselves? Just Fortnite again? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just gonna call ourselves sus. <laughs> something... Something suspicious about this guy. Little sussy. Let's play. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Let me adjust the audio. That level of audio good for you? Little loud. Yeah, this, this game likes to run very loud. I have to lower it a lot. That better? Cool. Alright, let's go. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain it a lot of level. What's, what's LV stand for? Why love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! You know what's going on here, don't you? You just want to see me suffer. Die! Okay, a Deus Ex Machina is here to save us. What a terrible creature, torturing such a pure, poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. I'm glad I have a guide to help me through here. I hope nothing bad happens to her. Shadow of the runes looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Wow, 
Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the runes. The runes are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the slide of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Dan playing and Undertale never thought I'd love to see it. Oh hey, I see someone just joined the stream! Yeah, you're very welcome, we're just starting a pacifist run. It's good to have you here. I hope you're as excited as me! I've never done the pacifist run, so I don't know what happens. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just really excited for the pacifist run, that's all. That's all. The first switch is over on the wall. <laughs> Splenda, I am proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, but will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Let's talk to him. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! <laughs> nice! Ah, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Come on, come on, Toriel. Frog it attacks you. It's compliment. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Toriel's just gonna look at him. I don't trust him. the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. She's just gonna guide us through the entire thing. <laughs> okay, thanks. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Gaming! Mr. Maniac, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. I basically hacked my game. I don't know what that means. I'm happy with what I've done, though. Every everything's set up correctly. For those who know, yeah. For those who know, it's all it's all in motion, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it, it totally is. I don't think there's anything else to worry about. As we go through as we go through this run, genuinely, I've never played a pacifist run of this game. Um, I am open for help. Um, and we'll point stuff out as we go. You get to see everything. We get the good ending. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh my god. Gameplay. It's getting pretty tense. Just gotta hold right. <laughs> Just runs. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. You must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If 
you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Can I go behind the pillar? No, I can't. Wait for five minutes, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do we just... <laughs> no, I'm just going. <laughs> Don't have time for that. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Playfully crinkling through the- Crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Oh, we get to talk to the frog now! I've never actually seen this guy. Every time I've encountered him, like... It's been death. It's been so Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. We did it. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. Some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Okay, so I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to beat some of them up. I imagine, and then spare them. I, I need to not kill. We'll reset if we do accidentally kill something, alright? We have to compliment the frog. Just flatters them. Blushes deeply. Compliment him again. Oh no, I, I think this one needs something other than a compliment. Life is difficult for this enemy. Does he just need more compliments? He's got he's got a hell of an ego. Oh just mercy, is it? Oh, okay, right, so it, it it can highlight like that, right. Spare, there you go. Yellow means it's done, okay. Uh, let's get exploring. What's in here? It says take one, take a piece of candy. Took a piece of candy. Monster candy, what does that do? Heals 10, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Nice. Take another piece. Ah, no, but that, that, that's mean. Y you can't be like the trick-or-treater that empties out the bowl on Halloween. You gotta leave some for the other kids. You guys are some mean trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Okay, so I just need to compliment the frog, and that's the battle, basically. Andy. Okay, let's get going. Hello, this is Tori. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I love some cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Oh. Hello, this is Tori. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. She, she's a bit overbearing. Push the rock there. Okay, Wimson, we gotta console him. Burst into tears again. <laughs> Oh my god, Toriel. You don't have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason, no reason at all. One more one more audio check before we keep going. Uh, is the background music okay? I really want to make sure it's not too loud. This, this game is a bit funky with the audio. It seems very loud in parts. It's good? Genuinely. It's a bit loud. Okay, some people are saying it's a teeny bit loud. Alright.
Knocking it down a few decibels. There we go. That better? Perfect. Trober and Ajax, thank you for the thousand bits each. Thank you very much, guys. I gotta remember to get the mouse cursor off the screen, too. Whenever I tab back in. I think I remember this bit. Yes, I do! Okay, Frogget and a Whimson. Uh, Whimson, we can just console him. There he goes. And then Frogget. Give him a compliment. There we go. Okay. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Mm, so you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Sir. Mm, you want me to move some more? All right, how's this? Sir, please. I was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Sir. Oh, you want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Doing good. Nothing's dead. This cheese has been here quite a long time. Stuck to the table. Hello there. He's sleeping. I've never. I don't think I've seen this guy. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. I think I have to give him a a, a push. Here comes Napstablook. Ten attack, ten defense. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm really funny. Uh, let's try flirt with him. I just weigh you down. He's not even attacking us. Okay. Cheer him. You gave Napsabluke a patient smile. Hey. Okay, not as bad for crying now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Try flirt with him now. No, he... He needs some more encouragement. You told Napsabluke a little joke. Heh heh. This poor, sad comedian. Napster Bluke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. <laughs> Do you like it? He cried himself a hat. Now we flirt with him. Oh no. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. He was cute. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Can we eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders? Let's have a look. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. I'm. You're not gonna sell me like that. I don't have much money. I don't have enough for anything. Invest in the spider bake sale. I'll have to come back and buy something. Yeah, I, I, I just need another encounter, don't I? Ribbit, ribbit. Heard you using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs. I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. 
Ribbit, I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you don't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if the name isn't yellow. Okay, there's a mold small. I can do something with this. Its name is already yellow. Oh, I can just spare that already. Okay. Is he just dancing? <laughs> now he, uh, yeah, he's finished his dance. Okay, right. Well, good fight. Yeah, he's just vibing. I've never actually seen the game like this. <laughs> Every time I've played it, I've immediately killed people. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Nice. Okay, I, I have a spider donut. Uh, do I need to save up money to buy the other spiderware? There is like something else I can get there, but it's way more expensive. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up. Do not carry more than you need. Someday you might have to see something you really like. We want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, thanks, Mom. There is just one switch. Uh, it's this one, I think. Okay, mold small we can spare already. Swing your arms, baby. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Uh, there's like a different color leaf here. Can I pick that up? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Vegetoid, don't devour. Servant size one monster, not monitored by the USDA. <laughs> Part of a complete breakfast. Plants can't talk. Oh, yeah, they sure as hell can kill. Do I invite him to dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, okay, that, that one actually heals you. Vegetoid's here for your health. I, I thought if I clicked dinner, I'd just, like, eat him. I was worried there. Feed him, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't know that name. That's not even Irish politics. Read this, press the blue switch. This room is a change in perspective. Luke's drew ne near. Luke's. Don't pick on him. Family name Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. Okay, we'll we'll leave him be. Yeah, he he just wants to make his way in the world. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. He's still trying to kill me. If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, there's a pair of them now. Don't pick on. I'm very badly injured too. I should probably like uh <laughs> go back and heal at some point. <laughs> I don't have much life. I'm not gonna get much life this run either, am I? You only get HP by killing stuff. Okay. Press the green switch. Which one was green? Was it this? 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, Vegetoid came out of the earth. Okay, that guy just wants to dance. He's not really he, too bad. Oh, he ate the swarm. Uh oh. Don't do it. Okay, he's dancing again. He only he's a solo performer. He gets shy when he's with someone. Rad is suspicious you know the puzzle solutions on your first playthrough, Dan. I played this true before. I have. It would have been years ago. I remember some of the puzzle solutions. What I haven't seen is uh, an actual pacifist run. I've never actually talked to the creatures. I've never done this. So that's the new bit. I think this is the side pack, yeah? Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. Didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. You found the toy knife. Uh... Do I even want this? <laughs> yeah, like, probably not. You can sell it. Okay. I'll bring it to a shop. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to supervise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide in any longer. Come, small one. Save, we're alive again. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. What you got for us? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Something burning. I'll make yourself at home. Look at that. We got our own virtual boy room. Everything's red. Oh, she's left the pie out for us, too. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Use the lamp. That's cute. <laughs> Box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Look at these cool toys. They don't in interest you at all. Tutorial's diary. Read the circled passage. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh no, no, that joke is supposed to be why didn't the skeleton go to the party? Because he had no but body to go with. That's the better version of that Christmas cracker joke. Come on, Toriel. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. It opens in the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown, oblong seed pots. Known more commonly as water sausages. Peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Thank God. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundary of plants. Gotta be careful when you get a cactus for a plant because <laughs> they can be a bit of a prick sometimes. Laugh for me. Oh, it's a water sausage. It's you. Look, it's me! Me, the player! And no one else! There's nothing else we're looking for in the mirror! Room under renovations. Up 
up already, I see. Uh, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. It may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. A history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, till we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. Great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. There's more of the pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Stovetop is very clean. Toria must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason there's a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. Oh, sweet Hershey's! I don't like Hershey's at all. I don't even know if I like Cadbury's anymore. Cadbury's, Cadbury's chocolate has gotten way worse in recent years. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Milka's good. I like Milka. The only the good Cadbury's chocolate I like these days is the Oreo one. And I think that's just because it's more Oreo than Cadbury's. Richer Sport is a really good one for, for the European crowd as well. Toblerone? Oh, yeah, no. Toblerone quality. If you ever do a chocolate tier list, like Toblerone is S tier. It's so damn good. Okay, I'm gonna open a window. It's very warm in here. Ritter Sport is so good. I love the flavors they do at Ritter Sport. Like, they have a marzipan one that's actually so nice. Galaxy? Galaxy's okay. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Dark chocolate, gang. Dark chocolate's good. Dark mint chocolate Ritter Sport? Oh. I think you should play upstairs instead. It is dangerous to play here. <laughs> this is like your toddler just like beeline into like the electrical socket constantly. It's like, no, please, you're gonna hurt yourself. Just stay away. You don't know any better. I feel like half a parenting is just trying to stop your child from killing themselves. Like, honestly. Like, no, you can't eat that! <laughs> Don't eat grass! It is dusty here, you will catch a cough. There is nothing to see here. Do you want to read a book? Oh, God love her, she's trying. I do not like the game you are playing. Why not go for a walk in the yard? Can I talk to her instead? Oh, hello, did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How to Exit the Room. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. T yeah. <laughs> Please tell me how to live. I have to do something. Stay here. Not quite snails, but I remember back in primary school, way back in the day, I did a project on worms. And I studied a bunch of them. Um, not because I was particularly interested in worms, but because I wanted to include a segment in the project on the worms video games, because I loved them as a kid and I was obsessed with them. 
That was the best part of the project. Everything else was like filler to get to the Worms video game series. You wish to know to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. <laughs> I think the bus is going. I think we gotta leave. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Hunter, thank you for a thousand bits. Loving all the wholesome content lately. Thanks for playing my favorite game the way it was always intended to be played. No problem, Hunter. I'm as excited as you are. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Torio blocks the way. Stab her! <laughs> no. Talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. She knows best for you. Alright. God, it's just gonna be a bullet hell the entire time. I tried to think of something to say again, but... Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Oh my god, I suck at dodging everything! <laughs> um... Monster candy. It's not the solution, what do- Oh, I'm gonna have to fight her, aren't I? I have to hurt her. Okay, just do spare. Okay, no, she responded to that. Right, we're on the right track now. Making progress. Three lines. God. Question mark. There's a safe spot. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, we might have to eat the pie. I have to eat the pie. No, don't. Don't eat the pie. No. <laughs> Do not eat the pie. <laughs> okay? Attack or run away. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. What are you proving this way? Oh, she's not attacking anymore. Fight me or leave. Toy prepares a magical attack. Stop it. Toriel looks through you. Stop looking at me that way. The pie is safe. We get to keep it. Go away. <laughs> now we shank her with the toy knife! No. Toy who looks through you. I love this game. Kimo, it's great to see you here! I've never played Pacifist Run! 
I'm trying it out for the first time. I'm excited to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I know you want to go home, but... She's not talking. But please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Ha ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The runes are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. You truly wish to leave the runes. I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, she's giving us a farewell hug. Goodbye, my child. There she goes. See you later, Toriel. She'll be okay. She'll live her best life in the ruins. She'll be alright. You beat the game, like, that's it. Congratulations. Toby Fox just, like, sp appears on screen. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you are able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I'm the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. So much more interesting, don't you think, chat? Don't you think, chat? <laughs> Welcome to Undertale. By Toby Fox. He's on the screen! It is over! <laughs> Credits roll! Am I still really badly injured? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I hope there's a save point up ahead. Let's go for a stroll. It's a lovely walk in the woods. Everything's calm and peaceful. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. I can't, the light doesn't seem to be reaching you for some reason. Oh! Haha, <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always fun. Anyways, uh, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton.
Wait, sorry. <laughs> oh, the playback speed is adjusted. <laughs> I was gonna swap the music. <laughs> but the playback speed was still 25%. He's gonna kill him. <laughs> uh, it's nice to meet you, Sans. New character. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro, my bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is very conveniently shaped. Let's take cover. What's up, bro? God, what voice would Papyrus have? I feel like it's a more agitated voice. You know what's up, brother? It's been 80 days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? Nyum, 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 nyum. It, it works, it, it's perfect. He's Jim Scary. I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Nyum nyum nyum. <laughs> huh. Maybe this lamp will help. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work today. No idea how busy I was this morning. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does somebody as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. We got a fucking comedian here. Oh Jesus, ain't he funny? <laughs> yeah. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> it's actually perfect, it works. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. You're gonna have a... bad time, you could say. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Can I get them? Can't get them. Actually, hey, take the body, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down late. He's never seen a human before. Seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. What we got here? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> like, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. So here's my number. No, thank you. Use the box. A tough glove. We might as well take it. We have we have inventory space. Unfollowed. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be saying that a lot as the stream goes on. <laughs> so as I was saying about Undyne. What the? What's uh? What's going on here? 
having a moment. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Hey. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undying will. I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem! Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case... Continue... Continue... <laughs> Got like a stutter. I said that wrong. Continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. Keep an eye socket out for you. I don't know why Sans is like a bad impression of Joe Swanson from Family Guy. Hey, Peter. Peter. Hey, I'm Sans the Skeleton, Peter. I don't know why that's the voice I've given him. <laughs> Snowdrake flutters forth. Let's tell him a joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Ah, oh, you bastard. No recognition. Just laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? I can heckle him? Tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they- <laughs> Oh my god! They struggle to make a retort. And slink away utterly crushed. Well, I guess that works. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. But one day I will be. Nyam, 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 nyam. Absolutely no moving. Oh. Did some move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If some was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Give him a pet. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. I'll move an inch. Okay, yeah, so for the blue ones, you don't move. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. <laughs> it's like, oh, 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 oh. Can't do barking noises. What, I've been pet. Pot, pat, pat, pet. Doggo has been pet. I can now spare. Sus. Some pet me. Some that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. How you doing? Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Is he gonna do anything? Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton, he's too loud. <laughs> How many times have I gotta talk to him? Whoever you are, knock it off. Okay, I think he's given up now. Yeah, he's got nothing more to say. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Oh, you gotta be careful, man. They can ruin you. Hey, here's here's something important to remember, Peter. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move. It won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you, you stop, right? 
Stop signs are red, so... I don't know, blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Hey, Peter. <laughs> I gotta say that a lot just to maintain the voice. If I don't, then it doesn't work. Okay, ice is every direction. And there's the extra ice to the, to the right. Ice cap struts into view. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that he has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Can I just steal its hat? I tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief! Uh, how do I do this one? Do I just ignore him? You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Okay, so that just that he wants attention. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems to feed it. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Oh, well, it doesn't seem like you're ignoring me. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. <laughs> we beat him. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. We'll just take the one. I think we did. Yeah. Want to leave him be? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Yeah, he's good. Gorman, thank you for 100 bits. You're a monster. Ha! <laughs> Thanks very much, man. Yo, know, there's a lot of monsters in this game, too. And we're going to be friends with all of them. I hope you're my friend, too, by the end of this stream. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think, uh... I think that's called... Sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh-ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you! My brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one... Quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible... Electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze... This orb will administer a hearty zap! sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you go ahead now. Oh. Sans, what did you do? I think, uh, I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Gee golly, I wonder. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. How could have I been foiled? However, the next puzzle would not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Nyam, 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 nyam. Did he just moonwalk away? Hey, uh, thanks. My brother seems like he's, uh, having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made sure that a few weeks ago for a... We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything, uh, else since. He's calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Oh, look at this guy. Obama. No, Obama's like a different tone. Like, let me be clear. Let me be clear. That's Obama. Hey. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Distinguish. Say it's not quite Obama. Which means we can save Obama for a different character later. 
<laughs> I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's a perfect weather for something cold. Oh! Customer! Hello! Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Got some nice cream. Feels 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I can play football. I've been uh, thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Sans, why are you why are you doing this? No, he's, he's just up the price. I can't afford that. I'm buying it. You don't have the money. Hey, that's uh that's okay. I don't have any snow. I will leave him be. What's going on here? His smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smells, humans, the green rating. Destroy at all costs. It's hers. There's some doggos living there. But they're out right now. I assume I want to kick this somewhere. Come on. Come on! True pain. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get it there, right? Bear with me. There we go. What does that do? Tiger Woods. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You're awarded 2G. Nice. There's another one here. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Uh, Colette, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone that's been subbing and having, like, Sans dance on the screen. I turned off the vo the sound effect for it because it's probably going to ruin the entire playthrough if I kept that going. I hope that's understandable. John Golf here. I don't think John Golf would, like, would be cut out for this game. I'll show you an act of mercy! <laughs> I don't think it's him. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's, uh... It's right here on the ground. Trust me, there's, uh... There's no way they can get past this one. I love that no matter what form the highlights of this stream take, uh, Fortnite signs dancing with a massive green screen will forever be in the top left corner. <laughs> Just thinking about that. <laughs> I feel like I should make it smaller or something. <laughs> it's actually kind of terrible. Oh, uh, look at him go. He's having a good time. Make it larger. It just takes up like the entire fucking screen. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids! Can you help me solve this puzzle? Why is one of the words just Giaspus of Forever? Oh my god, I think I see it. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops, uh, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What, uh, really, dude? That easy peasy word, word scramble. That's, uh, that's baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Ah, uh, you gotta hand it to the Junior Jumble. They're pretty jumbled. Aha, yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. <laughs> Thanks, uh. 
Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday, uh, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. The cursor. <laughs> it's gonna be dancing Fortnite Sands and the, my mouse cursor on screen. Ugh. Together at last. Little do you know this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You will be so busy eating it that you won't even realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great papyrus. <laughs> the plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the sentences say spaghetti. It's a singular purpose microwave. It's snowed in, we're at the spaghetti. Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> what, do I, what do I do to prepare for that? Oh! Lesser dog appears. I think we pet him. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Look at him go. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Okay, spare him here. Already defeated him. Ah, uh, that's just the map telling me to go over there first, I think. Pet more, you coward. You need to pet it more. <laughs> Wait, do I reload the save? <laughs> Have I actually, like, locked myself out of part of the game? Am I gonna get, like, the bad ending now? Or do I not need to do that? You did bad. <laughs> no, you haven't. If I keep walking about, will he, will he appear again? Yeah, we, do, we don't need to pet him. The dog's doing fine. If we meet him again, I'll pet him then, okay? There's a switch hidden in the snow. You cruel monster! <laughs> It'll be fine. See, look, here's more dogs. We can pet them. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Oh. Hmm, here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. I'll eliminate you! Doggy assault you. Oh, there's two of them. All. Oh, Look at them go. Dogami and Dogarisa. Um. Pet. Dogarisa is too suspicious of your smell. Stop, don't touch her. Beware of dog. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Uh, if I roll around, I have to get rid of my smell, don't I? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife, please. Oh. <laughs> okay, what if I pet him now? I smell like a puppy. No, too, too suspicious still. Okay. Uh, roll around some more. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Oh, okay. Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. It smells like you actually a little puppy. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Uh, can I pet him now? You pet the dog, Arisa. Dog that pets dogs. Amazing! The 
dogs are reevaluating your smell. Um. Okay. So. I don't think I can spare him yet. I gotta pet the other one, yeah. Pet dog me. Pet by another pup. Okay, both dogs have been petted. The dog's minds have been expanded. There we go. We pet the dogs. Dogs can pet other dogs. The new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Look at that. Blue their minds. Turn every X into an O and press the switch. <laughs> They're socialists now? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what what a what does that imply? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Um, I should probably tell him that I ate it because it's gonna hurt his feelings if I tell him I just left it. Isn't it? Or is it gonna hurt his feelings if I tell him I left it? I ate it. Really? Wowee. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Nom, 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 nom. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddened. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with a sock collection, right? I pride myself on my colorful socks. If you can't wear colorful socks in life, then, like. Yeah, you might, like, what else can't you do? You can't make the time for the simple joys in life. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Oh, the voice is failing me. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh, I was close. Okay, I see it though. I do see it. There we go. Wait, what? And every X. Oh no, I forgot to press it. <laughs> it's like I'm struggling with like flicking the light switch at the end. I've already done the hard part. You did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Nyahehehehe. <laughs> Good job on, uh, solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, cause I love doing absolutely nothing. I see you later, Sans. Mr. Undertale. Oh, what's going on here? Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see, these tiles. 
Once I throw this switch, it will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Oh, I'm forgetting half of it. Oh, the, the information's going in one end and out the other. So, someone, someone just take note in chat. It's like, I'm, I'm out of my head here. Oh, God. Okay, something about lemons which the piranhas don't like. That was that, understand? Yes. Great, and there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Here we go. Well, that seems handy. <laughs> wow, so lucky. Actually, uh, that spaghetti from earlier wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been, uh, improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something more edible. Oh, he's doing great. I think I actually do need to save it. Yeah, I'm quite badly injured. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into ash. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Oh, cause not pomegranate, the pomeranian. Okay, that took a moment. Took a moment. A dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, is this the guard we encountered earlier? You ruined him. <laughs> we get the bad ending. He didn't make his snowman. Think on your sins. Uh, I think I see it. Pokemon Heart Gold Ice Puzzles have prepared me for this moment. There is a path down here, though. We should have a quick look. What's this? It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. I mean, I think sans takes it here. There's more of a direct message. Why does art need to be so fancy? Maybe that's a statement here. Maybe sans is just like being postmodern and it speaks volumes about society and the expectations we place upon culture. Society itself is the culture. You don't need to make a grand creation. Sans NFT. Oh, I need to do this again. Hang on. Exactly. I'm glad RT gets it. When I go to an art gallery, I just want to see a mirror. And that's the real art. All the people in the exhibit. <gasps> Who needs to see these sculptures when humanity itself is beautiful? That'll be $20 to enter the exhibit. down here. 
What's up? Oh, there's a bunch of eyes in the walls. What? How are you doing that? A gift truck confronts you. What is going on with you? Uh, decorate. You add some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! Giftrot stumbles blindly. Do I undecorate? You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. No, he, he's still very upset with me. Giftrot laments its lack of hands. Gift? Giftrot refuses your gift. Oh, okay, I was supposed to keep track of them there. It tries vainly to remove its decorations. What if I just keep decorating them? Or check them? Some teens decorate it as a prank. Don't put any more on me. So do I undecorate them, or do I, uh... Put even more on? Help this man. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. If tried is slightly less irritated. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Why was that up there? Slightly less irritated. Undecorate. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. A weight has been lifted. If Trot's problems have been taken away. We helped them. Oh, the eyes dis... No? No, the eyes didn't disappear. I thought that was related to them. Say, are you following me? What's in here? Uh, it's a door. There's mushrooms. Uh, is there anything I can do here right now? I seem kind of stuck. It's a secret boss. Not yet. Wait five minutes? If you stay here while moving for two minutes, you get a secret boss. Should I do that? Or do I- can I just come back later? It's after you beat the game, don't waste your time. Okay, so I- I come back here later, is it? The boss is now. No, it's later. Yes, it's now. No. Come back. <laughs> There's two things you can do here. One is now, the other is later. <laughs> Like, those people probably freak it out, like, No! He unlit the mushroom beacons! They give you buffs! They're like the keepers of Yogg-Saron! Okay, I'll, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. I'm sure it's fine. Schrodinger's boss. The enemy leaves later. <laughs> People are losing their minds. Like, so what, you want me to walk there for five minutes? <laughs> a 
Okay, is there a save point somewhere nearby? Is there a save point over here? Let's walk this way, Mo. <laughs> Go back later. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. Oh. Hello there. Oh. <laughs> it's the greater dog. Pet. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh god. I'm almost dead. I, I, I can eat the, 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 the cream. Love yourself, I love you. It smells like freshly squeezed puppy juice. Beckon him over. You call the greater dog. It bounds toward you. Fleck and slobber into your face. can pet now. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Okay, you want to play? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. He rests his head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. Can't spare him yet. Uh, pet him again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But, you still haven't pet enough. Oh god, my movements actually have slowed. <laughs> pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Greater dog is contented. Hardest enemy in the game. He's been satisfied. Ah, oh. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> okay, cross the bridge. Cruel master, pet more. He's at 100%. I don't want to overload the poor guy. Human, this is your final and most dang dis dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. It's just a dog on a rope. What does that do? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. How does this work? Well, uh, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm about to activate it now. Do, is that dog okay? Like, do I need to like get him down from there? I'm kind of worried about him. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. <laughs> I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Could end the dog has been rescued. I, uh, don't know what my brother's been going to do now. If I were you, I would, uh, 
make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, I think I've got the hang of them. Welcome to Snowed In. Oh, because this is snow. Okay. Save there. There's a shop here. Maybe we can finally get some supplies. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Weapon. Does armor? Armor seems like it'd be good. I probably want that, yeah? I don't, I don't currently have any armor. Manly bandana. Oh, he can't- he's not accepting it. Why was sell even an option? If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. You're really hurting for cash, and maybe you could do some crowdfunding. I hear people will pay for anything nowadays. Wasn't this game fun to on Kickstarter? <laughs> That's a bit meta. <laughs> You think maybe back in the day, like, someone donated enough, and that's why they are now Sans. <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious. Oh, you can talk to him. What do you do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees is food, and the library is information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Hiya, welcome to Snowed In. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital. You don't look like a tourist. You're here by yourself. Back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, they all decide to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decide that they like living in the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. What about your life? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But, we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we get that hope, and grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, eh? Nice. <laughs> yeah, people will pay for whatever these days. Deco, thank you for the 600 bits. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, uh, I think- I think the main thing I just needed was the bandana. What? I thought that was a quip. Okay, let me buy another one real quick. Whoops. I thought- I thought it said a quip. Okay. Well, we can put the glove away and the knife. Uh, I don't think we need the bandage. How does that say equip? It ends in P, right? They don't associate use with equip a thing. Put away the stuff so you don't eat it. Well, if I, if I, if I put this stuff away too much, right, I'll forget it even exists. I know not to eat the donut and the pie. We're doing like, like pie any percent run. Okay, let's go to the Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80G. I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Dirt Muffin, thank you for a thousand bits. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, you can really just skip the town, okay. Um uh, I feel like I should talk to the people. lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Bun bun bun. Okay, well, alright. Give her some space. 
awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. It's a dead giveaway. This, this town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Oh god, it's busy in here. What? What's wrong with this guy? Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'll have to try it sometime. Uh, and I've heard they have things called bathrooms. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city sli sl slickers slip onto their butts. Grill said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Here's the dogs that we fought. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better sit. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Um... Whatever you're into, I guess. We, we're we not here to judge. It's a big guy. <laughs> I love him. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be loose. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that... Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Whatever you're into, I suppose. These dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Okay, well that's, that's Grillbees. Oh, look at this character. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Scarf is cute. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? There's a pad up there. There's a library here. Welcome to the library. Yeah, we know the sign is misspelled. Love working on the newspaper. So little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me a word. Gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> uh, that's great. Love, hope, compassion? This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, this is monster history. Here in the humans no longer we moved out of our old homes, old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland, searching, scorching heat, till we reach what we now call our capital, new home. Again, our king is really bad at names. You get some history here if you want. That's cute. Uh, this is a pat that keeps going here. The mailbox overflowed with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Okay, there's a pat up back here. So we'll go have a look. Let's play monsters and humans. Are these people? You aren't gonna make me the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're slimes, okay. Ah, what a beautiful knock. If I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 
Okay, they're, they're never gonna answer the door. Why is he making icebergs? What's the point of that? There's nothing there. It's his job. Okay, do I go back to that room and like stand in the spot two minutes or do I just carry on? I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go back to that room later, aren't I? Should I just carry on now and then we just go back and do it? Carry on, you can only use the room after a pacifist dungeon. Okay, right, so I just can't do it then. Wrong, wrong. Yes, that's right. It's not worth it. You can't do the boss after Papyrus, but it, like, is the boss necessary? Am I gonna get the bad end if I don't go back here? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Alright, here, we'll, we'll, we'll trek back real quick. Uh... There's Jerry. Gotta ignore the ice cap. Get that gone. Alright, I'll go back and check out the room, okay? We're doing a long stream today, so we have time. There we go. Jerry tells everyone it has to go to the bathroom. Uh... Ditch. <laughs> you and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Poor Jerry. Just wanted friends. Gorman, thank you for another thousand bits. Thank you very much. Over a thousand hours of Undertale. I'm the guy for advice. Fair enough, I take your word for it. Okay, undecorate it. Undecorate. I just stand- oh no, okay, because they do that. You remove the striped cane that, you, that says I use this teeny cane to walk on it. Problems have been taken away. I'm gonna need more money because I done goof before. Okay, so two minutes of walking around. Here we go. People are gonna be simultaneously upset that I'm doing this and that I'm not ignoring it. <laughs> Everyone's unhappy that I'm doing this. I'm you have you have two minutes. Like someone start a timer. Okay? And then we're leaving. Pull it. Like, I'd pull it, but like I think people would like set the pole on fire. They'd like take their ballot, put, take a match to it, and then put it in the box, just to try and get rid of some of the other votes. Don't you need to touch the mushrooms? Who knows? <laughs> Let's turn the mushrooms off.
His circles are too small. Oh, he's not doing the triangle formation. The enemy's not gonna spawn. It has to be a triangle. How are you enjoying the game so far, RT? I can't wait to be everyone's friend. They're all such lovable characters. There we go. Glide swooped in. Hey, buddy. What do, what do you do? Attack high, defense high. Refuses to give more details about its statistics. How great I am. Oh my god. Glide is thinking of new slang for the word cool. Like, freakadacious. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> But he's, he wants to be cool, so we just applaud him. You clap really slappily. Blight sucks up your praise like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I rule, I admit it. Blight sees his reflection and gets jealous. Uh, do I just applaud him again? Clap like a gorilla. Glide has become an addicted to your praise. What else do you have to say? I mean, he likes it. Glide does fancy flips. Clap like a gorilla. What else do you have to say? Okay, so I, I, I need to do something else. Uh, AT is so freakadacious. <laughs> Just do nothing. You do nothing. Glide looks disappointed you aren't paying attention. You forgot the clap. Uh, I'm gonna need to eat the snow piece. Oh wait, no, cause... He wanted me to take that far away, didn't he? I don't have any healing items. I should have, like, prepared a bit more. I, I might die here, so you're gonna have to help me out with the actions, I think. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait again. Eat the donut. No, people are telling me I need the donut. Don't eat the donut. Don't do anything. Okay, I'll just I'll just not get hit, I suppose. <laughs> like Okay, chat. What should I do? Eat it! Don't eat it! Use it as a weapon! Okay. What should I do with the snow piece then instead? Eat it! No, don't! Fight Sands! When is he fighting Sands? Okay, what do, what do I need to do here? Applaud or nothing? Because uh, actions are precious right now. I might die. Just do nothing. He's desperate for attention. Doing tons of flips to get your attention. Do I boo him now or nothing? Just ignore him. Glide leaves to look elsewhere for praise. Okay, we're good. Well, there we go. Secret enemy defeated.
Honestly, this is the worst game to stream. No, don't worry. Because I'm going to get the perfect good ending. I'm going to be everyone's friend. Oh, can I just flee here? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It didn't let me flee. I, I gotta, I gotta ditch Jerry. Get him gone. Oh! <laughs> oh no, Jerry made it back from the toilet. Turn of the Jerry. Ditch him. I don't- I don't want to die having done the secret. I think I might be safe now that I'm in the town. Oh. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's buy some healing items we can actually consume. Buy, we'll buy a cinnamon bun as well. I like my cinnamon, so I'll buy two of those. Yeah. Okay. I'll put. Uh, I'll keep the pie handy. I'll put the donut away. The pie needs to be in our inventory at all times. I'll put the snowman piece away too. Can I sleep in the inn now? I have enough money. Here's your room key, make sure to bundle up. Oh, they're all snoring. Guys, please. Aya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you're only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're gonna stay overnight. Oh, okay, we get to just hold on to it. There's someone here now, too. Mom says that sleeping can help you help that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. It's maximum HP. Oh shit, yeah, it's 30 out of 20. That's pretty nice, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. You can get like gold hearts, basically. Okay. Uh let's hop on. Could have used the igloo, but it's too late for that. You can hold shift to run. I'm using a controller. What do I? What do I hold in the controller? <laughs> you can't run in Undertale. Okay. <laughs> Why is someone saying that then? Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past a lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. Knock off Jacksepticeye Papyrus voice? Like, th this is Jim Scary. That's patented, right? You believe this is a bootleg? I believe you should go fuck yourself. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> 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 
You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. All right, uh, check. He likes to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, that's a, that's a mighty attack there, Papyrus. Flirt with him. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with a very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you! He's trying. Thinking about what to cook for the date. Keep flirting. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems the action won't escalate this battle. No, he, he really wants to keep the battle going. Maybe I can just start spamming spare. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Gameplay. <laughs> oh! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now! Okay. Now the real battle begins. He's too busy fighting to flirt back. Gotta keep sparing him. Pyrus dabs. MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. What the fuck is this? Okay, spare. Don't make me use my special attack! I can almost taste my future popularity! The music is so good in this game. <laughs> oh! Okay, he's putting on his anime powder again. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Oh. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti tour! Well, I was expecting that to be faster. I don't know why. Something about that attack in particular. I just thought it would come faster and I have to dodge repeatedly. I don't know what's going on there. And Dine will be really proud of me. The king will trim a hinge in the shape of my smile! My brother well, he, he won't change very much! Oh, here we go! Here we... A bit better. Papyrus, Papyrus whispers. <laughs> A softer one. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but Pirates is trying hard to play it cool. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you?
Oh, he's getting a bit funky. Pipes is trying hard to play it cool still. All caps at RT game. You can only fight Sans if you kill everybody. Ha, ah, thanks for the tip, Adam. I didn't know that. Appreciate the friendly heads up. You must be new to the stream. You missed the start, didn't you? That's okay. You're catching up. We're doing a pacifist run. Pacifist run. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun. Someone like you is rare. And dating might be kind of hard. Ah, uh, I didn't see that one. Virus is considering his options. After you're captured and sent away. Trying hard to play it cool. Do I? Do, do I need to use an? I think I'm still okay. Nah, who cares? Give up. Getting frustrated. Date's not going well. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Give up our face, my special attack! Papyrus is rattling his bones. Very soon, I will use my special attack! Yum yum. <laughs> oh. Let's uh, eat a bicycle. Eat one half of the bicycle. Not too long, and I will use that special attack! He's gearing up for it. This is your last chance! Behold, my special attack! It's a dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Getting ready for a regular attack. Watch out. Here's an absolutely normal attack! Oh. Okay, okay, this, this actually is a bit funkier. He's got some moves. There's the dog. Cool! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> what is that? What's that? I can push the screen there. Well, it's clear. You can't uh, defeat me. I can see you shake it in your boots. Ever I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy! Fight. <laughs> you hoo hoo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What a loser. No, let's be friends. Because we're making friends with everyone today. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fright them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. 
and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I know there's been a lot of exposition the last two minutes. But fear not. I'm about to mention spaghetti again. <laughs> to reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you to the back barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, I, I take it I gotta go back and talk to him? Let's see what's happening there. Uh, I'll just go back to the save point real quick. Papyrus down. We've beaten a lot of the bosses already, haven't we? Making good progress. Okay, what's going on? So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. It's gonna be Grillby's, isn't it? A place I like to spend a lot of time. Like, where else is it gonna be? There's like a library or the shop, like the shop, or this one restaurant. He's just gonna take me into his house. Okay, alright. Bit disappointing. First date, you want to go at least for coffee or something, you know? Okay. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock! Uh, okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Yeah, okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Yeah, okay. And don't bring it back! Yeah, okay. It's still here! Didn't, uh, didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh, they have a kitchen here. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking some. It was like a quiche but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Oh, that is a sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hello there, dog. Catch that meddling canine! Curses. What was that? <laughs> Sands! Stop playing in my life with incidental music! Have you guys ever seen the TikTok of like a kid and his mother? This is the one TikTok I know, right? Real boomer moment. It's like, let me tell you about the funny meme I saw online. Um, it's like a kid and following his mother around the house with a trombone, and he's constantly going like <laughs> That's a good ticky tocky. That's a quite a quite a funny one. I laughed quite hard when I saw that. Had to show my mum, my extended family, everyone I know on Facebook. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. It's where you belong! <laughs> Can't go in there. There's a book here. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. If you look inside, 
Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. If you look inside, there's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's my room. If you finish looking around, you could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Pirates being a bit fucking forward here, Jesus. Buy me dinner first. Go inside, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite ready. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Sans is in his room, so we just can't see him. Do I go in? Is that all I can do? Sure, go on. He just wants to show us like his pod collection or something. Oh, he's got a race car bed. God love him. Those are all the attacks I used in you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. From a double digit follower account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous t troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. It sounds, isn't it? Th this is getting a bit too meta as well, being an online personality. He's famous. I too get some sick trollers in my chat, but it's okay, Papyrus. You learn how to deal with them. They just don't think your maymays are spicy enough. That's all it comes down to. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yep, yeah, have a look. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun in my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes, action figures. Oh, my vo- <laughs> Ah, yes, I hit puberty. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Let's go. Okay. Date and start. Date and start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't smell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official date and rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for date and heads up to... Wowee! I feel so informed! What? Why is there a population? There's an egg. What does the egg have to do with anything? <laughs> this is... If Ubisoft made Undertale. There's a skeleton in Snowden. Maybe I should investigate that. Hmm. I think I've updated the radio tower marker. There might be a new quest for me. Download the, the costume DLC today for 2,000 Ubi bucks. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask him on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure. R really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second! Wear clothing! A bandana around your head! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that! Earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning! That's right, Papyrus Senpai! I've had my eyes on you! Ever since Skeleton High School! Will- Will- Will you go to the prom with me? 
No! You planned it all along! You're way better at dating than I am! No! You're dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! Tension meters rising. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at Dayton, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh my god. He's got the cook dude shirt. Oh, it says cool dude. Oh, okay. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! Date power rising. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. What is this fucking Phoenix right? Objection! Too clever, Phoenix. But I think I have an ace up my sleeve. What? What do you mean there's more evidence? That's right. We did a second autopsy report on this date. What? Who even does that? That's not even legal. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with C. Oh, this. Okay, it's Phoenix, right? My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah, <laughs> heh. Well then, you found my secret. Wait, what? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present. Just for you! Objection, your honor! I brought a gift for the defense. It's Valentine's Day. And I thought... We should ease the tension here. We don't need to be enemies. We can... We can be lovers. Mr. Edward, what's going on here? This is some gay erotica you're proposing in this court, and I'm kind of scared to see where this goes. This sounds like something off a tumbler. <laughs> Open it. Do you know what this is? Sure. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong, this ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat the spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ugh. No! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you're very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. 
So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and uh, if you ever need to reach me, uh, here's my phone number. Uh, you can call me anytime, platonically. Well, I uh, gotta go. Yeah. We failed. Sans have anything to say about that? The door is locked. Well, that was really weird. Uh, let's keep going. That was really weird. Uh, do, do I just keep going now? We did it. You can go save again and the date's over. That was a long sequence. <laughs> that was so just awkward. Okay, let's make our way forward. Uh... Oh, there's the ice that kind of goes in here. Do I follow it down? No, it's just going off that way. You can actually call him now, can I? Cell! Oh yeah, I have a phone. I can call Toriel as well. Nobody picked up. Uh, what does Papyrus say? Waterfall, I barely know anything about it. But I'll do my best to inform you. Sans has set up camp here now. Okay, save it here. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard, over and over. This is an echo fl Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Yo, you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha. What, huh? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Uh, can I just head back? Do we want to go to Grillby's? Sure. Well, if uh, you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I, uh... No, a shortcut. Oh yeah, that was a fast shortcut. Hey, uh, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. You were just here for breakfast a few minutes ago. I, I haven't had any breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be, uh, thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Is that a joke? Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put, uh, whoopee cushions on the seats. Sorry, I'm, uh, a bit gassy today, uh. I've had too big a burrito for brunch, you see, and, uh, I've been <laughs> uncontrollably expelling gas from my bladder. <laughs> where am I going with this joke? I'm trying to, uh. <laughs> where am I going with this? Daniel's trying to do a funny. I'm overthinking it. It's because it's Sans on the stream. Well, on the screen, right? Like, this guy is hyped up. This guy's a big deal. Apparently, he's the final boss of the universe. It's making me anxious. From the bladder. Yeah, you, if you're expelling, like, gas from your bladder like that, get yourself to hospital. <laughs> like, you might not have long. You might not have long. <laughs> so, like, something bad's happened. What do you want? Uh, give me, give me a big burger. Yeah, that sounds, uh, pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burger. 
So, uh, what do you think of my brother? Oh, Papyrus Senpai? He's so dreamy. Of course, uh, he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he, uh, absolutely had to. Oh, well, uh, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he, uh, wears it in the shower. So, burgers. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes, please. Bone, uh, appetite. You see, I said bone there because I'm a skeleton. <laughs> Tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pour pours onto your food. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You're gonna have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. That's good ketchup, though. Ketchup burger. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he uh, went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in. Of course, she shut the door on him because he was it was midnight. The next day, she uh, woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I uh, wanted to ask you some. Oh, have you uh ever heard of a talking flower? I might have. I might have encountered him once before, Sans. So you know all about it. The uh, echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be uh, using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That seems kind of menacing. Well, uh, it was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for so that long. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Yeah, sure thing, I'll open the tab. Just, uh, just pulling your leg there. <laughs> Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Girl said that your food is probably cold by now. They had a good meal. Okay, uh, let's let's press on back into the cave. It's magical, John. <laughs> oh God. I don't know if I want to give one of the characters that voice in this game. I think it'd be too menacing. Imagine Sans like, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, save it though. Let's hang out again sometime. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you do? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely a box hater. Seems a bit rude. Uh, okay, I got a unicycle and a bicycle. Yeah, I, I think I have everything I want right now. We've good healing. Gotta dodge the rocks. I swore I saw something behind that Russian water. Is there is there something behind the waterfall? There is? What's this? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? You got the old tutu. What does this do? Armor Defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. I mean, it's better than I have. 
Make sure to use it and not just drop it again. I can sell the manly bandana later. You're in the know, right? Lobster, thanks for 200 bits as well. Oh! Pyres is just here. Hi, Undyne, I'm, uh, here with my daily report. Regarding that human I called you about earlier. How did I fight with them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see. You see. I imagine this was different because we went on the date with Papyrus and he's actually vouching for us here. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh. I think she's on to us. She might know we're there. Oh, okay, see ya. That wasn't so bad. Oh, what are you doing here? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Lol. He just smacked his face on the ground. It's like, oh. <laughs> the feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay, so we just got to make the little bridge. There we go. Puzzles. Oh, the cursor. How long has that been there? <laughs> Aaron flexes in. Flex as well. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Oh, it's a contest. Them bicep curls. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases. I won't lose though. He's going for it. Oh, he's sweating. It's actually kind of disgusting. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. We we'll beat him. It's a flex off. Now that, that, that was weird. <laughs> there you go. An error has made the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Oh, okay, so I just gotta... No, not line it up like that? Secret pat bottom right. Is there? Bell to reset. Yeah, I need to reset it. It needs to be straight. Okay. Oh, if I make a pat like this, do they just go to the edge of the screen? go. See what's over here. There's a sign there too you can go read. There's a bench. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Well, you take it. You got the abandoned quiche. Why is there a quiche? Just wasn't ready for the responsibility. 
It's just a quiche. What does that mean? Yeah, let's get this one too. Child abandonment. I'm not ready to be a father. And this, this quiche looks too heavy and hearty. It's there to quiche your curiosity. Somebody ban that man. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> really? Wow, I feel rewarded as a player. Okay, it needs to be four in a row. Um, I've almost got it there. I just like set it down. Eh. You were close. I can do it there. Oh, I see it. There we go. You set them off there. Because they, they go for a little wander. There you go. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah, <laughs> That's not creepy at all. So, what are you wearing? <laughs> I don't like this conversation with- Okay, Papyrus, like... It's quickly becoming the worst character. I'm getting very uncomfortable now. She thought you, she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What do you say? Uh, sure. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. What is he implying? Wishing her. Thousands of people wishing to get her can't be wrong. The king will prove that. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. You hoped all your heart your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh. Washua shuffles up. Let's give him a scrub. You ask Washua to clean you. He hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, I see it right. I can, I can try get them. Washua's looking for some clean fun. Washua is rinsing off a pizza. I can just spare him now. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. Check wall. <laughs> okay. Check the wall up. Because my horoscope is the same as last week's. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. There we go. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. Take the soul of nearly every monster, just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. 
ironically, is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this draw. It's Sans! It's always Sans! It's Undertale! It's Mr. Undertale! Is there anything here? Hey RT, glad to see you playing one of my favorite games for the first time. How are you finding it today? I'm having a great time, making friends with everyone. I'm having a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> Everyone's smiling, but then there's probably some other people's like, Wait, why is he saying it like that? Who joined the stream late, out of curiosity? I'm so lost. Me, me. Well, you're all welcome to the stream. We're doing- well, yeah, we're doing a pacifist run. I've, uh, I've never done it. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Aren't you excited? Aren't you? <laughs> oh! We gotta go. She really likes chucking these at you, doesn't she? <laughs> Spears oh Here we go. Keep going. Run, sussy! <laughs> okay, she's gonna be alright. Oh! Oh, it's this guy again. Back down he goes. She didn't do anything bad to him, like he seems to be okay. Why is he following us? Where are you trying to get to? Whoa, did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! I've never washed my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left! Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again! Oh. He smacked his face again. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Oh, a mouse tried to get the cheese. I'm sad now. It was not successful. I'm thinking uh, about getting into the telescope business. It's only five th 50 g to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. That was about it. Sure. It's not very helpful. Oh, you aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. It's like the cap on the telescope or something. <laughs> Did he forget to take it off? He might have. Oh, look at you. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? What's up here? Oh, there's another ice cream guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. He missed it? He missed it? Wait, what? What did I miss? Blind. 
Check your face. Okay, hang on. Give me one more. Let me, let me, let me buy the cream. I'm carrying too much here. Oh, did I get pranked? Was it like the... The one where like you look through the telescope, it's like, oh no, ink on my face. Is that it? Oh, that would have been. Well, maybe we can do it again. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a cracking joke. Goodness me. That's uh, that's giving me a chortle. Okay, let's put the manly bandana away for now. Uh, I need to take the card. Like, if I buy another cream, I can get, like, I think a free one. Box contains one card. Okay, leave it for now. Oh, I gotta buy a lot of cream, actually, to get it. Do we want the free one? I want a free one. How much does a cream restore? 15. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, let's get the cards out. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. Battle item used to make punch and attack stronger in one battle. He's outside of battle to look at the card. Please, please come back. <laughs> yeah, let's trade in the punch cards. Did I say anything different? No, I don't think so. Okay, redeem them for some nice cream. It's so sad. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we have so much nice cream, so let's just take some of that. We gotta use that up the next while. Uh, what's down here? Do we wanna go this way first, or to the right? I don't, I don't know. Guess we're going to the right. There's a duck there. Don't know how to get the duck yet. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Just one, but kind of stupid. Well, that way just immediately leaves the room. Hang on. Mold small. Oh, okay. They seem very, very peaceful. Pyrus is calling. Remember when I asked you about close? Now the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. And I bet you knew that already. Because you knew that. I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. God damn it, Pyrus. You... Contender for worst character. Do we want to go to the left or down to the right, Pat, first? Which way are we going first? Left. Spare the mold. It's here. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Carrying too much. Ballet shoes, those are... That's gonna be something I can sell, isn't it?
Um, just use the cream. You can wear them. True, I can. Uh, that ups my attack, though, so it's not really gonna matter. Throw away the stick. Keep it for now, um, and we can just sell it later. I can unequip stuff, yeah? Not the stick. Oh, it's fine. Buy us three ice cream to get a free one just to eat at the clear inventory space. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, speaking of ice cream, I don't know if you hear him. He's in the streets. <sighs> Spare the mold. You're passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. What's their wish they made? What did they say? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. How do I get back to that duck? Oh. Hello? You look... <laughs> very animu for some reason. Hey. There. Noticed you were... here. I'm Onion-san! Onion-san, you hear? What's... What's going on with his face? Ah! You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's got my big favorite. No, it's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here. I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city, and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. I'm Waterfall! Oh no, in Waterfall. Why did I break into a song? I thought he said, I'm Waterfall. I'm Waterfall! <laughs> in Waterfall. It's time for the Waterfall song! Are you ready? Welcome to the basin! Jedward's Eurovision song got to ya. Oh no. Had a lipstick. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Please stop. Sorry. Your old man was just trying out some of the internet maymays he heard on the Tiki Takis again. I hope that's okay. Just some real ticklers, you know? He you really got my funny bone going. <laughs> Chiron hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Hello? Hum. You hum a funky tune. Chiron follows you melody. Melody. Siri, Siri, Simi. Chiron seems much more comfortable singing along. Conduct. You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Chiron seems much more comfortable. I think I need to hum more. Hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly it's a concert. Santa's selling tickets made of toilet paper. 
Wait, what's happening? You wave your arms wildly. The crowd eats it up. Fans are still selling tickets. I can I can spare her now. I'm just wondering if there's anything else here. We didn't get it, so Sans was selling tickets. I guess that's the end of it, yeah. Do I spare now or do I hum more? You hum some more, the seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. The crowd tosses clothing, it's a storm of socks. You hum some more, but the constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all. Aggressive tootin'. Constance getting out of hand. Chiron thinks about her future. You and Chiron have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final two. Oh, she's giving it her all. That was a wonderful performance. Well, why was there a concert? <laughs> oh no. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. Han song echoes down the corridor, won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here, will you play it? Okay. Is the treasure the piano, or is there something more here? It does look like there could be something more. The first eight count. Is there a code? Something more. It's a secret. Okay. His power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The souls of a special species of monster called a boss monster. The boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. This has never happened. Now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. He looks a bit sad. Please take one. Take an umbrella. Oh, Can I give it to him? Because the rain's on him. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. The music continues and doesn't stop. Oh, look at that! Hang on. Okay, so guys in chat, try try memorize that. So up, so neutral, upright, neutral. Neutral, upright, neutral, down, down, right. Try it. Neutral. Up. Right. Neutral. Down. Down. Right. There we go. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. Annoying dog. Annoying dog. A little white dog is fast asleep. Use the dog. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. Oh. 
Well, there he goes. <laughs> That's disappointing. <laughs> Check inventory. Dog residue. Dog item. Shiny trail left behind by a dog. What does that do? April Fools. <laughs> Take another umbrella if I want one. Keep it for now. Okay. You guys tell me when there's something going on with that item. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Going for a nice stroll. Why is there one white pixel in the bottom left corner of the stream? That is the mouse cursor. <laughs> that I keep accidentally leaving on the stream. And will continue to do so. Oh man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would be wet the bed every night. What? Oh, no one she was gonna beat me up. Okay. Don't pause in your sentences, little kid. So, you're gonna get in trouble. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. He had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I just want to check as well, that duck from earlier, is. was there any way for me to interact with that duck right now? Or do I simply have to wait? Because that duck was way earlier in the game. Later, okay. Just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Ah, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. There's a big old castle. In the distance. Wallpaper moment. A quick, everyone. Everyone take a screenshot. I, I'm, I'm getting my one. Got it on my phone. I'm gonna pop it in the Discord for you. If you want like a good wallpaper, uh, I put it in the live stream chat for you. New desktop for y'all. Okay, let's put the umbrella back. Oh, this ledge is way too steep. You want to see Undyne, right? Climb my shoulders. Up we go. Yo, you go out ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Do all. Where is Snaz? <laughs> How's it going, Cerny? I'm hoping we encounter him still. You know, he's been really hyped up to me. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you, fills you with determination. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters would turn to dust. Oh, I think Undyne's gonna say hello again. Y'all good? Hello. Let's get walking. She's kind of just like shimmying down there. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You better watch out! I'm gonna hit you! 
I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Uh, there seems to be a path down here. No, not across there. This looks promising. Just keep, like, strafing. It's really not that bad. It's even slowing down a bit. There we go. Oh, wait, no, that's the end. Uh... Why the fuck does this bridge even exist? Yeah, like, what's the point of it? Like, we need to navigate this particular bit of, like, pitch blackness. <laughs> Why did we go this way? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Sussy, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... <laughs> I don't know, I think that mystery person seemed a bit more sus than me. Little, we got a little... Sussy Baka. I think they vent it because I don't see him here now. These are just some funny internet memes that your dad found on the Tiki Taki again. It's all the rage with the kids, apparently. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Shut up and play Undertale! <laughs> oh my god, stop talking! Play the damn game, funny man! He's ruining it! He's ruining the game! <laughs> uh. Oh, occasionally a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. You in this endless cycle of wordless garbage, it fills you the t with determination. Uh, there's just garbage here. Is there anything I need to keep an eye out for? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes is a honk of despair. <laughs> that was the honk, apparently. Doesn't sound that despairing. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler, it has no brand, and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Carrying too much. Remember this cream we bought because it was such good value? Me neither. Feels 21 HP. That's more than the cream. Why do we buy the cream? Okay. Well, we got astronaut food now. We also have the abandoned quiche. That seems like a powerful food item. Kills 34 HP. Psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Sounds about right. Seems like a regular training dummy. You want to beat it up? No! You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Oh! <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along, when you talked to them, 
They thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human. I'll scare your soul out of your body. Mad dummy blocks the way. Let's just try talk to him. Talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Futile, futile, futile! Oh. Oh. God, they're firing. You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Mad dummy's looking nervous. Talk to him again. He doesn't want to talk. No one's happy. I might just have to spare. Mad dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Oh, he's gonna use my soul. I pressed X by accident. Just dodge. He's being beat up. Talk to him now. He really doesn't want to chat. Alright. Smells like a clothing store. Everything I want will be mine. This dummy's got some issues. It's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Yeah, I guess I'll, that'll avenge my cousin. Okay, so I need to get in like a final spot. He doesn't even know his cousin's name. He doesn't move after the end. Whatever, whatever, whatever! There we go. I don't- still getting caught. Can I spare them yet? Keep sparing. Still futile. Pop him up. It's not happy. This guy's got some anger issues. He's putting up a hell of a fight. Hey guys! Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're all fired! You're all being replaced! Oh. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical wears filled the room. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Okay, after they do the loop, they come back. Dummy bots, you're awful! Oh, good god. Bossing around its bullets. Final attack. God! Oh. We got him a little. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. Oh shit. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 Ah ha ha ha. 
<laughs> oh, oh, he's falling over. What's uh? Ah, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Oh, it's the ghost from earlier. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as, as soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys look like you are having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um. Uh, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. What was his name? Blukey. He's cool. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Feel the calm and tranquility. You're filled with determination. Naps to Bluke, was it? Okay. Should we go up to his house first? There seems to be a few paths here. This is his? Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Look at this. You got anything in your fridge? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Oh, that's a mood right there. <laughs> it's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? You know what? Sure. Okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. So lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Uh, advice for your 20s. Like, sometimes you just get home and you just lie and collapse on the ground. Other times you just scream at the sky for no reason. And that's okay. That's part of life. <laughs> What's happening right now? I love lying on the floor. Should I? I shouldn't move, should I? I should just wait this out. Being an excess of 250 bits. I learned I was part Irish and I want to tell you. That's pretty cool. Don't move. We need to vibe. How y'all doing? Me after work. This is the part that sold me on the game the first time. <laughs> you, can, you can just zone out a while. y'all doing? You can play different music in his house. Nice. Should I get up now? Two goblins, thanks for 100 bits. Are you ever going to play Bioshock? I played Infinite. I really like Infinite. For me, this is what a day off in my 20s feels like. Gorba, thanks for 100 bits. Honestly, like, some days are just like that. Some days, like, it's like, what do you plan to do for the day? Yes. I'm going to have some food and just Hop on YouTube videos. You need days like that. Okay, we're gonna get up. Vibe is over. I've woken a new person. Well, that was nice. Thank you. 
I need to recover after all that lying down. <laughs> the spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. CD is labeled Ghoul Day music. Play it. He played the CD. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing platform. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch in it. Sometimes. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. <laughs> Ooh. 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 It's a banger. Okay, let's turn that one off. I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Spook tunes. He's got a few pieces. A classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Very spooky. I like spook tunes. It's called Spook Wave. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. Just look inside the fridge again. Is there anything else for me to do with him right now? It's locked. Yeah, he's just chilling. What's going on here? Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blue Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's a snail. For some reason you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail it's Sam Buell? Buell? Sam Buell? Who's that? Is that a Kickstarter? Maybe. Been long overdue for a second house. Okay. They have a racetrack set up. If you want to play a game, it's called Thunder Snail. Snails are racing. If the yellow snail wins, you win. 100 to play. Well, it's 10 to play. Sure. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Come on! I'm giving you encouragement! Why didn't he win? Looks like you encourage your snail too much. All the pressure to succeed really got to her. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, let's try it again. Alright, so don't... Don't mash it. What's the best way for me to do this? Go, Snaily! I mean, I feel like they were closer there. You have to spam it at the start of bunch and let go. Press it 11 times, someone said. Okay. Snail is discouraged. Seven times? Okay. Okay. 
One, two. Go! You're doing it! What's happened? <laughs> Why? It's flipped! It's like you, you encourage a snail too much. I don't think it's seven. It is eleven. Yeah, people... I said eleven there, people say, no, they're wrong! Conflicting information, I feel. Eleven. Go. This isn't working. <laughs> It's six, it's eight, and you space them out. This might be too much high octane action for me. The snail is discouraged. Okay, last attempt. I, I feel like I'm not gonna get it. Come on, Gary, you got this. You know, that's just not fun. Let's move on. <laughs> Save there. Duck time. Is this where the duck was? This is the duck. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer. Is that to get back to the previous area? I don't know if I want to do that yet. Yeah, it's a shortcut back. Okay, we leave the duck here for now. You can ride back, can you? Is it actually two way? Alright. Am I uh, about to be made an April Fool? Look at him go. Why doesn't he just swim? <laughs> it's quite dramatic. Thank you, little duck. So inspirational. It is, yeah. Yeah, well, we gotta go back because there's more stuff that side. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh no, I left my keys on the other side. Hang on. We gotta go again. Oh wait, no, they were in my pocket all along. What's going on here? Watch, watch, watch. It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Temi Village. East is Hotland. I don't know how to get to the village. I don't see any other path. Something in here? Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Try to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. I've heard you want to sell this stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. So he's got worse equipment for us. Invincible longer though. Oh, okay, so it actually is a benefit. Get crab apples. Okay, Mr. Turtle's just running the shop there. Uh I feel like I just need to clear some inventory space, so I'm just gonna keep one slot free. Talk to him, what's he got? Been around for a long time, maybe too long. So your history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Something about an emblem. The Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? It's, it's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns cat name for beans. Emblems mean and new? The emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below. And the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's from the angel, from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleakered outlook. Calling that winged circle the angel of death. Powerbringer of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Alright. Nice king fluffy buttons. Mr. Fluff to you. Undyne, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid. Buy some items. It might just save your hide. Okay. Well, that's everything. Inconspicuous turtle. This is this is just an empty river. Heartbeat and fearful of our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. I haven't been paying attention to the lore or anything like that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too fussed about it, honestly. I'm kind of just here for, like, just the fun battles and that and interact with the characters. Like, he said Deltarune. I know, I know there's a sequel to this game called Deltarune, but it's like, eh. I don't know what's going on there. Like, all this stuff about a spell and human souls, like, that that's cute. Cool. <laughs> Special enemy Temi appe appears here to defeat you. Uh... Feed Temi Flakes. Temi only wants the Temi Flakes. No, so hungry, dies. Temi, Temi is trying to glomp you. Uh, should I check? Temi, rated right 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Boy, I'm Temi. What the fuck is this attack? Temi vibrates intensely. Uh. Talk. Say hello to Temi. Okay, Temi's, Temi's not one for talking. Flex. 
Flex that Temi. No, muscles are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. No. Uh, Temi just died. Aaron's ready for your next flex. Was that supposed to happen with Temi? I don't know. That was supposed to happen. Okay. Alright. I don't think she's dead. She just seems to have phased out of existence that way. Okay, we gotta beat him in the flex contest. As long as you don't get EXP, you're fine, yeah. Seems to be the main thing. It's fine. How do I get to the Tammy village? Is that just up ahead somewhere? Something about being trapped. Lore stuff's happening. It's a pat up ahead, okay. Bit him. All right. Well, we'll find it. Those are the nicest ones. Oh no! This one doesn't want to give up. Imitate. You approach mold spa suddenly. Oh, that was a mistake. Old bug gyrates reservedly. Uh, give him a hug. Grow slime covers you, your speed decreases. Slime sounds. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Unhug him. Don't hug old bug, it appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Oh god. I don't like that one. Seems comfortable with your presence. Okay. Uh, eat the cinnamon. Oh! Is this the secret path? I... <laughs> I was trying to go left, alright. <laughs> oh good lord. Hoi, welcome to Tem Village. Hoi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy, and this I kind of hate him. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. I like Bob. Rich history of Tem. What is going on? Oh wow, human. Such a cute. Hem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Hem, proud parent. Hard boils. Tem heard human allergies to them. I don't okay, Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. Oh no! Oh, heaps! A mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my... I faith. My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. Mushroom dance. Why is there one coming out of the walls? Feel of being watched. Statue of Tem, very famous, very. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the Tem shop. Okay, uh, Tem Flake. Tem Flake on sale. Temflake expensive. Tempe for college. Tem pursue higher education. I don't have enough money for that one. 
I assume that's one you can buy and there might be like an Easter egg or something. I don't have enough money to get the town to college. Well, I, actually, I might if I sell some stuff. Okay, hang on. Tough glove, toy knife. Bandage. Manly bandana. Bandages worth a lot. Can I sell that? Am I okay to sell like those those old weapons that I'm not using? Like mandana bandage, toy knife. Yeah, cool. You got bandages. Gotta have that bandage, but I gotta pay for college. Them always want a bandage. Bandana. Tough glove. Okay, uh, I'm up to 500 gold now. Use the dog residue to make more of it. How does that work? People were saying I need to empty my inventory, was it? Use. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Oh, I see. And, oh, there's a dog salad here. <laughs> okay, and so if I just use another dog residue now, will that give me more? No, these are all different. Okay, so this is gonna take a while to get enough for it. You got dog residue. Okay, so I just keep doing that. Right, this is gonna take a while, but we can get a Tem to college. Yeah, well, you might want to make yourselves comfy. <laughs> Unless we get very unfortunate and like it's all salad or something, uh, we'll get enough. Tem's gonna freak out at particular bits of dog residue while we go. If you say no when she asks, you can sell it for more. Oh really? Oh okay. Try it out next time. Okay, more dog residue. Whoa. Okay, no. Six. Oh, okay, that's barely worth it considering the time it takes. <laughs> that's such a marginal price increase. Mechanic might as well not exist. <laughs> just, just sell it. <laughs> I 
I have a lot of dog like residue to pawn off here. Seven hundred gold. I'm glad they make a way for you. Okay, how, how much will the dog salad go up for? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not worth it. Unless it's a big item. I think the first one I did where it was 150 gold. I should have done that one. Okay, we gotta put the Tem True College. We need 200 more gold. You can farm coins by uh, buying the cloudy glasses from the turtle guy and selling them to Temi. You get a 30 coin profit before sold. Also, the turtle isn't very far from Tem's shop. Oh, should I just make a quick run then? We're almost there. But if I just like load up on them. Cloudy glasses, yeah? Okay. Uh, we'll have to get rid of the unicycle. I'll just keep that for now. Okay. Let's go for a stroll. We know where that is now. You can also resell templates uh, for a profit. Okay. Pui Bovine, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Washua and Aaron. Did you just say tweet? <laughs> Come on, Washua. Clean. Oh, because it's like there was a bird or something. Okay, I was thinking of like... <laughs> For some reason I just thought, why is like he mentioned in Twitter? You gotta touch the green attacks, yeah. Well, I would. They're in a better spot. Now that we're clean, this other guy's just gonna sweat on us. Act. Flex. Watch all the sweat. Come on, I'll get tired. Y you need a shower or something. Keep flexing. There we go. That actually helps with the, the money as well. Size 600 bits. Just got here. F loving this cool stream that definitely is an April Fool's prank. Oh boy, love to see you play one of your favorite games. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 hang on. Uh, we have to use this up. Cloudy glasses, yeah? This is a 30 gold profit. Is this it better for me to buy that and get an inventory full of them or the glasses? Glasses are better? Okay. So, stocking up. <laughs> We're smuggling goods. <laughs> Let's sell it all off.
Does Dan actually hate Undertale? I thought he was just sick of Sans build. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Um, I've talked. I've talked about some of the issues I have with this game. I I don't like the illusion of choice where it's like. Man, we have to get through a fight. I don't like that. It's like you just ignore one of these buttons the entire game, and that's how you're supposed to play it. I think this game has a, a suffers from an illusion of choice. There's two ways to play it, and if you pl stray from that, you're punished. But it's still it's still fun, you know. I'm still having a good time playing it right now. It's fun to stream it. Tree roots technically no, like any of the normal ones, you just punish for playing the game. I think that's how it feels. And honestly, <laughs> having done the sneaky thing at the start of the stream, that was honestly kind of boring. <laughs> it was just constant grinding. So like now I'd even narrow it down to there's one way, and that's it. The other thing is just kind of not really properly developed, and it's just there for funsies. Uh, don't hug him. There we go. Spare. Toby Fox actually acknowledged as a flaw of the game's design. He actually took that into account when designing Delta Room, because that game allows you proper freedom to choose between fight or spare. I'm really glad to hear that, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he, like, acknowledges that. Okay, so all this. Ah, yeah, so we're turning like a 20 gold profit on the moment. We can get some extra on this. Okay, let's put Temi True College. Whoa. That's a lot of months. Can Tem really accept? Okay. Tem, go to college and make you proud. Uh. Oh, okay, there you go. Tem back from Cool Egg. Tem learned many things. Learned to sell a new item. Temi armor. Oh, Jesus, that's gonna take a while to get. <laughs> 10,000. Dude, it's really- that's gonna take so long. So that's stupid amount of time. If you die, it lowers the price. Oh, okay. I'll check that later then. I'll check that later. I'm I'm not willing to grind that much. <laughs> Okay, take the pie from our support. The quiche. Astronaut food. Gotta use that cream someday. And we'll just keep them in storage for now. Gorman, thank you for a thousand bits. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, what do you think of the fans being insane and doing some rather questionable things? Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. I've actually wanted to do the pacifist run of this game for a while, but the only reason that I, I was kind of scared and cautious and put off a bit. Um, just because I, I think some people get a bit too heated about this game. Like, way too much. And it is actually scary. It's fun for what it is, though. I'm having a good time. I don't think it's Toby's fault, though. Just some people are a bit, uh... A bit much. Okay, let's 
start flexing. That's why we're playing the game on my terms today. You know, I'm so excited to be everyone's friend. And nothing bad happens. Goodness me. You didn't miss anything. No siree. He's flexed himself out of existence. I just arrived, I'm scared. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I gotta turn on the lights. Special enemy- oh, there's another Temi. I don't actually- I didn't buy the Temi Flakes. Do I just flex to get rid of it? Maybe should have bought some Temi Flakes. The next lantern. Turn to the area. I'm kind of weak at the mall. I'm hoping I maybe get a save. It is looking a little bit menacing. <laughs> Seven. Seven human souls. The power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. That power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human. It's your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. I'll tear it from your body. Can I just, uh, snack on a cinnamon bun first? <laughs> Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yeah, we're fine. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Okay, I see you, kid. You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Alright, I'm four and a half hours late. What the hell is happening? Oh, we're just doing a pacifist run. Like, um, I've, I've never done this game without, like, killing at least one person. <laughs> That's all it is. You're a passing conversation. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Stand under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. It's my wish too. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Go back? Did I miss some? I don't think so. Am I good? We're good. Yo. How you doing? 
Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. And I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, you're human, right? Man, I knew it. Well, I know, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. I kind of stink at that. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please. You cannot fight me, for I am perfect. There is no flaw in my character. <laughs> what will you do? Yo, what? So I have to do it. Here goes nothing. Yo, I hate your guts. But, uh, I'm such a turd. Um, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> oh! Yo, wait, help! I tripped! We're gonna help him. Can I just run there? <laughs> Just walk off the screen. Yo, dude. If you if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. You can actually watch him fall. <laughs> oh no. I take it that would ruin the pacifist run. I take it that would end it. Just God. Yo, you really saved my skid. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Just have to be friends instead. Uh, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. No, it doesn't. You can just let him die. It's like, still a pacifist. A small child has died in my hands. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> That's, that seems a bit messed up. Later, dude. Uh, are we just done there? Is there anything more? You unlock the stinky jerk patch. It's the pacifist run where you're just a meme. Oh. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand. Tree seven and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Oh! She took her hat off. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. Women. But you! You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know, it will be more valuable to everyone. If you were dead, that's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human. Let's end this right here, right now. We'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Foo hoo hoo. Let's give me a save point real quick. The wind is howling. Oh, I got my butterscotch pie. Oh, I've got some snacks here. I've got some cream in case, you know, I'll get a bit peckish and some astronaut food. Hey, I thought you want a slice of this quiche? I can't eat it all myself. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come.
And guard. I'm green. Attack 50, defense 20. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. That was so bad. <laughs> okay, challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Not bad, and how about this? Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Challenge! Too easy! For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Challenge! And now sunlight is just within our reach. Flashes a menacing smile. Challenge! The bullets get unfair. They will let you snatch it away from us. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Challenge! Enough warming up. Oh, that was a bit unfair at the end. You changed it. You're not allowed to do that. Challenge. You're tough. Run. Run away? Am I supposed to just run? Chat doesn't believe in you. I can do it. Challenge. No human has ever made it past Asgore. You need to run! You have to flee when your heart is red. Oh, can I get it red again? I didn't realize that. <laughs> People are just telling me, it's like, you need to go, you need to go. Is it possible for me to still get it? The lion, then. <laughs> Is it possible for me to get the red heart again? Yes. Okay. Then I'll do it. I can get it, yeah? Challenge. Whatever you gotta say. Challenge. Uh, we will take a cheeky slice of the bicycle. Stop being so damn resilient. Okay, we're ready. Flee. She's coming for us? You've escaped from me for the last time. Okay, so you have to get out of the fight and run. Challenge! Well, let's get unfair. Oh 
Oh god, those ones have been tricky. Challenge. Uh, we should probably... No, it's just a challenge. I can take one more. Die already, you little brat. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that was a bit much. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, I should have had to... Should have ate that cinnamon bun right there. Sussy. Stay determined. Challenge. Am I supposed to keep challenging each time or do I plead? I take it I'm making it way harder by doing this. I have no idea. No, we, we have to challenge. We have to. Why am I even considering a world where we don't do it? Challenge! Enough warming up! And we play! Go, 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 go! Challenge once again. The ice cube. Was there something I was supposed to do with the ice cube there? Can I hop on it? Or do I just run past? No, you can't. Okay. Challenge! Stop being resilient! Never! Resilience is my middle name. My parents want to prepare me for this world. Okay, one more time. Challenge. Saying stuff between it, but I'm kind of focused on just the rhythm. <laughs> I don't want to get too distracted. Oh. Challenge. Get unfair. Come on, she's laughing now. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so come on. Smells like sushi. Die already. <laughs> We're good. My phone's ringing. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make we you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. <laughs> I 
God damn it. Pyrus is the worst character. Eat the space food. Oh, new attack. Challenge. Oh, red mean run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> I was thinking Sads might do something. <laughs> We're so hot, but I can't give up. Would you like to face a challenge? Take a cup of water. Here you go. Oh, we're just gonna pour it on her, not offer her a drink. You are now ready for another challenge! <laughs> uh, Sans is gone. Uh, do I need to head back or just go forward at the moment? Might be a save point. Challenge. Go forward and back. Cool. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Oh, no, I think he found his way in. I think he found his way in. Here, you want some water from the cooler? Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Cause it's not working. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. Okay, laboratory entrance. Uh, let me turn on a light real quick and we'll work out where we're going. no longer dark. We can see once again. How y'all doing? Hope everyone's enjoying the stream. Are you playing the full game today? Um, maybe, yeah. I'm gonna see how far I get. I'm still good to go for like another four hours. I reckon we might be able to finish the game in that time. Oh, hello. Tra la la, I am the riverman. Or I am the river woman, it doesn't really matter. You'll have to ride in my boat, would you care to join me? Uh, sure. Where do we go today? Oh, he transports here, nice. We need to go back to Waterfall. Fast travel. Tra la la, beware of the man who came from the other world. Come again sometime, tra-la-la. Wow, death's real friendly here. Okay, uh, we should probably grab a little bit more food, too. As you know, I can't eat that food. Uh, I'll buy a crab.
Okay, here's their house. Papyrus is here. Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. What if I, what did she give me? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Everything's going well. Dan, please leave the cursor there. It's pissing off people for no reason. Yeah, sure thing. There you go. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Oh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh, Undyne. Papyrus keeps bringing bone gifts. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! What? <laughs> what? Did he jump out the window? So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face. To humiliate me even further. Is that it? No, I, I just want to be ch chill, you know? Like, we, we can all be friends. And why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. <laughs> you must be friends. Really, how delightful. I accept. That was easy. That's all frolic in the fields of friendship. I didn't have to convince her at all. Nah. -uh. Why would I ever be friends with you? You weren't my house guest. I beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge what? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. Thinks I can't be friends with you. Hoo hoo, what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. I'm ready for the challenge. <laughs> Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Ooh, it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. One time Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. He fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Story of my life here. Oh, uh, maybe some nerds. The sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some top of the top of the line M MTT thing. But you know, as much as technology advances, none beats food. Home cooked with fire magic. I hate cold food. So, so Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck with their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Uh, I mean, Final Fantasy VII's a thing, so yeah, that's pretty accurate. Ha, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. Smart, huh? Uh, Wizard, thank you for 1500 bits. Watching the VODs, I just got through the intro, who hurt you? <laughs> Thanks for supporting the stream! Okay, take a seat at the table. Comfortable. Go get- I'll get you something to drink.
All set. What would you like? Oh. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Hot chocolate. Soda. Sugar. Goes in tea. Tea box, the blatantly correct choice. Uh, I'm a hot chocolate man myself. Um, I'm not gonna get like the bad ending if I pick this, am I? You chose poorly, so Sans died. Like, I don't want something like that to happen just randomly come the end. That would be quite anticlimactic. Wouldn't it be? Hot chocolate! Wait, wait, I just remembered. The container's empty. Stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, come on. No, you know, I need... It's gone. Okay, soda. Soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. It's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth, it rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Why do I have it? It's actually an honest, like, comparison. It's like, oh, you don't want to drink Coke. It's like, but why do you keep buying it and bringing it into the house? <laughs> Can I pick the sword? Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you were my beloved house guest. Fridge, you ought to have the entire fridge. No. Let's get some tea. Take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. You failed the pacifist ending. How? I, I picked tea to drink. Have I actually? That's not true. Okay. <laughs> I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure at every, at every, at every, like, kind of turn here. He's ruined the game. <laughs> this looks like I was made an April Fool. It's okay, I'll get you back with a prank yet, chat. I have something stewing. Just you wait to see it. <laughs> Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of it. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. 
Anyway, long story short, he kept training. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. You can never send him into battle. You get ripped into little smiling shreds. It's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. The cursor's not big enough. Hang on. One sec. <laughs> oh no, it's not white though. It's it's gonna blend in. <laughs> no. It's gonna blend in, it doesn't work! Well, I guess we can leave it there and it doesn't really do any harm. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever see that. We'll know it's there. We'll know it's there. Ugh. <sighs> Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. We were afraid. We're gonna be best friends. Close some tabs real quick. I got, I got. Gaming Gallery, thank you for 1100 bits. Thank you very much. We're gonna have, have a cooking challenge. Oh. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound in the dust with your fists. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. And no one can tell the difference. Just put them in the pot. How you put them in, fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. It's a general rule of thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready, let's do it. Press the repeat. Stir harder. Harder! I think we've destroyed it. That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Stove top, symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right. Uh, I, I have a controller. Oh, there we go. 
It means movement. That's how I want the best. Hotter. Turn up the heat more. This is how you... <laughs> ah. Man, no wonder papaya sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? Can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. But we can't be friends. That's okay. Because, if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh, I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. The only way I can regain my lost pride. Come on! Hit me with all you've got! Can I just kill her now? Oh, uh, fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you could manage. Even attack it at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Pacifist running in shambles. <laughs> he did a damage. Hey, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo. Now let's get out of this hell. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? I'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, I'll see you later, punk. Is she just not gonna, like, try to save or extinguish her home? Papyrus and Undyne. That's Undyne's house! It's a great place to... Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne! How did you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee, Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! Okay, I guess they're friends now. We did it. We committed our <laughs> Okay, let's go back up to Hotland. Look at the boat go. Tradala, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, he's just giving you a tip in case you didn't know that. Come again sometime. Tralala. -la. I feel like there aren't enough cursors on the screen. Could you please add more mouse cursors? <laughs> I'm gonna forget they're there. <laughs> Probably come the next stream, there's just gonna be like a massive mouse cur cursor in the corner.
Uh, Wolf, thank you for the thousand bits. Pacifist Run only cares about killing, so arson's legal now. Hooray! Okay, we're all good. They're not letting me past. Into the lab. Oh. It's you. It's too dark to see near the walls. Is there a light switch? Oh. My god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... Hi. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I, uh, made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like like a robotic TV star or some. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti... Anti-human combat features. Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's unstoppable. Kill a machine with a thirst for human blood? Ha 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 But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Uh-oh. Did you, uh, hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one game rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Meta 10 attacks. Uh... Check. Metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one! What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh... More questions. Sounds like you get it! I can cry. Screaming is against- Screaming is against the rules! Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Uh, Asgore Dreamer. Quiz show continues. I just keep crying. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, uh, metal and magic. Okay, can I just spare? Here's another easy one! Two tra- oh. I don't know. I don't know! Shot in the dark. Uh... Can't scream. 
Don't count your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh, Alfie's has given you the answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's play memory game. What monster is this? This is this is the frog. Oh, come on. Okay, all right. So you got to listen to Alfie's. It's him wearing a t-shirt. But can you get this one? If you smooch a ghost. Yeah. Heck yeah. Simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Uh, okay, C. <laughs> Keep crying. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? It's snail ice cream in the fourth chapter F. And she buys ice cream, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And... Alfie's, Alfie's, Alfie's! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer, too. Does Dr. Alfie's have a crush on? Uh... Is it the human? Seriously? My my, how conceited can you get? I love it! And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering. No, wrong! You have to go that way! Oh, she sounds like Twitch chat. Maybe this is why she's my least favorite character in the game. That explained a lot! <laughs> you guys are fine, don't worry. You guys are fine. <laughs> You're going the wrong way! In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! Well, that was weird. <laughs> well, that was certainly some. Let me check what's in your fridge. <laughs> Oh, l let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... What? Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Oh. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting. Items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Heh heh. Heh. I'm going to the bathroom. Yes, yeah, so what's in your fridge? Um, I take a package of noodles. Nice. It's a bag of dog food, it's half full. Space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. She's got a lot of books. VHSs and DVDs of cartoons. They're all labeled human history. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Looks like Alfie's work table seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters here for- letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo, they're all unopened. An incredible invention. 
and not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Promo poster for Metatons TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. It's the tubby custard machine. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Alfie's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Alfie's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Now I gotta call up the human and guide them. It seems like a very unhealthy relationship with technology. Oh, Vulcan strolls in. Look at this guy. Give him a hug. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Oh. Uh oh. Vulcan's cheeks glow. Oh no, that's what I was supposed to do. Seems like Twitter. It's like a very unhealthy, like, updates. I've taken to using Twitter, like, way less. I, I use Twitter now to, like, post memes and, like, reply to my friends with just jokey answers and, like, see fan art you guys make. And stream notices. But as I, I try to just steer clear of it a lot of the time now. Just find it's healthier. Check what you guys are up to, what I'm tagged in, but, like, I don't post as much as I used to. I think I'm probably better for that. I think, so, I think it's a bit unhealthy sometimes. Call him in a minute. Oh god. Alfie's is not taking this life advice. Twitter can get rather silly. Oh, I love the memes and shit posts on Twitter. Like that's the best part of it, honestly. Discord is the only social media that exists. Discord is my favorite. I love Discord. Which, by the way, if you haven't joined, anti-game disc. Yeah. Oh, I, look at me just mentioning that there. Yeah, let's save it here. Oh, Alfie's. Hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Get off the internet, Alfie's. Sunderplane gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. Flirt. You tell Sunderplane that it is cute winglets. Huh? You sicko! Oh god. The, uh, Sunderplane accidentally bumps into you with its wing. You tell Sunderplane that it has a powerful rudder. Huh? You sicko! God. Thunderplane looks over, then turns up its nose. Do I have to use approach? Let's approach the plane. You get close to Thunderplane, but not too close. Eh, yeah, human! Tell Thunderplane it has nice turbines. Sicko. Oh, green is good. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I forget that. So I can uh, get that. How many times have I got to flirt with this plane? Only approach. Oh, its cheeks are glowing. Oh, okay, I get it. It shakes its nose dismissively at you. There you go, okay. See what's happening there now. See the cinnamon bun.
Give me that. There's a frying pan on the ground. You got the burnt pan. Simple items feel heal four more HP. That's that's actually pretty good for us then, isn't it? We can sell the shoes later. And zoom around. Is there any Oh, is there anything over the other way? No. Yeah, that's pretty good. In fact, if you ride the horizontal conveyor belt and call Papyrus, the text will slide off the screen while you continue moving. That's kind of cute. Alfie's updated status. OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna cut. I kinda hate them. <laughs> they hung up before I could answer. Okay. Uh, hi! So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alfie's here. Hi! The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, uh, they won't, uh, move through those ones. Uh, bye! Okay, so walk through orange. OMG, I did it. Class haven't shook like that since Undyne called. Need to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she? I hate her. Alfie's, please stop talking. Okay, there we go. Press the switch. Oh my god, I forgot the. T Cute pick of. <laughs> This is a very unhealthy relationship with social media. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink, glitterly flowers over it. Alfie's here. Uh, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I think you should go to the right first. Let's go left. Alfie's here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. But, as the Royal Scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Maybe <laughs> you should turn your notifications off. This would be the person that I mute on Twitter. Like, I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, hear what's going on, really. I'm just doing something on my end as well. Just so we'll keep it. There we go. Be good. Okay, how are these guys doing? We're hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. It's a huge problem. It rules. We've got to cancel school over this. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Had it a free weekend. Well, I guess we'll just keep standing. Here. Okay, wait, 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 hang on. Shoot the, the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay, I see it. Maybe. Uh... Close on it. Oh, I have two of them. Right, I can just destroy one. Cool. I thought I needed to clear the path. Go to the right. 
way to work is blocked, so I have to time the catch my evidence show on my phone. Special effects are amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton, yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Happy to update stats, wonder if it will be unfun if I explain the pu- Alfie, Alfie's, how do I block your number? The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. And I kept running out of ammo and I kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. There we go. Go up through here. Healthies, please. I think, um, uh, hey, I have the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them. Awesome. God, stop calling me! Hey, it's, uh, kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premier cooking show! Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Milk, eggs in the fridge. No way, darling, they get cold. That's why we keep eggs. As per culinary standard, a debt force sealed surrounds the kitchen. Yeah, that sounds about right. Put your food in the micro set on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. I, I have to get his ingredients. This is a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. <laughs> Sir? Please don't do this. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. W wait, wait a second. Couldn't you make it a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean to use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan. That's a brilliant idea, Alfie. <laughs> Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Can I just leave? Oh. By the way, our show runs in a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in, in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. See that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. I 
take it, I gotta dodge the attacks. Oh my god. Ah. He's really coming for us. I took a hit! Oh, we're fine. They gave us extra time. <sighs> Flawless ruined. My, my. It seems you bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles! Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Oh. That's a little disappointing. Wow, we... we did it! We... we really did it! Great job out there, team! Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Please, uh, never call this number again. Can I take the cheese? Can I take- no, I can't take the cheese. You can see the curse. <laughs> it's there. It's poking out. There's a little blip on the screen. Can we see more of the curse? See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're gonna go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. From there, you can go home. Uh, is there anything for me to head back and do right now, or am I good to just keep proceeding forward, by the way? You good? Forward, okay. Uh, is this where we are? I don't know. No, it is somewhere new. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, no, this is the lead back here, right? So if I do want to hop back real quick, there's a path. Okay, right floor two. What are you? Heh, I'm Heat's Flames Man. Remember my name. Okay. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Because he's just too lazy to clean it off. Toasty bun. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. I... I don't have enough space. Gotta save your money for college and spiders. Do I need his hot dog? I should probably put away the ballet shoes to, for, for Temmie, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's eat the unicycle. We got a hot dog. Feels 20 HP. This meat is made of something called a water sausage. Buy without space. Okay, uh... Pfft. Is that gonna help me?
He's not charging me anymore. It looks like the game's got an error going. 29, uh, that's fine, but 30. Does it look like my arms can reach that high? Sorry, 30 is the limit on head dogs. No! <laughs> My hot dog! <laughs> okay, I'll get some more. This is crucial to the pacifist run. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Alfie's posted a picture dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of a pirate's flex in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. Biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Pyro. Bounds towards you. Invite. You invite Pyro up to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Pretend to pull the fire alarm. Uh, cool down. You blow on Pyro, but the flames die down. Attack drop. Smells like rope burn. Uh, I can heat him up too. You crank up the thermostat, Pyro begins to get excited. It's getting a bit too hot for him. Pyro wants more heat, okay. He's satisfied now. room is sweltering. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, I should probably just go back and heal, shouldn't I? I'm quite badly injured already. Wasn't there a save point here? Oh, do we get raided? Oh, thank you for- was it from Julie? I didn't spot it. Praise be the cheese. How's it going? Yeah, you're all welcome to the stream. How's it going, folks? Um, we're doing a pacifist run of Undertale. I've never done it before. And I'm excited to see what happens come the end. I'm gonna make friends with everyone in the game. You're all very welcome to the stream. Everyone give him a big smile. Make him feel welcome. Don't mind Fortnite Sans dancing in the corner. He does that now. Little Cool Skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? Skeleton 95 updated status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Uh... Naps to Blue 22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request. Yes. Seems to have already rejected its- Oh no! An apron. I can eat the cream. Stained apron. Armor defense 11, heals 1 HP every other turn. That seems pretty good. I think that's better than what we have. Yeah. The phone box. Dimensional box A and B? 
Oh. I didn't realize that's a thing. Okay. I, I had no idea that was a thing, yeah. Uh, we'll just keep the food. It's from Alfie's upgrading it, right, okay. Maybe the phone is useful then. Hi, it's Dr. Alfie's. This puzzle is kinda, um, uh, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. You're the worst. Hey! Looks like you only need to press two of them. Alfie's up to his stats. It's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle. Alameo. Hey! I'm going to use the, to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Like, so unhealthy. Get down here. Uh, up here? Okay, so I have to position it so that it'll turn. So even, odd, even, odd. No, so sorry, so it's right, left, right, left, right, by the time I get there. It's only two switches, so I need to go around here. Should be it. If not, no. Do that. God, I suck at this. Okay, just don't press that. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Toggle that. Oh, I've got it now. There we go. I missed the message, but I don't know if it was a message worth missing. The mouse might get one day hacked into the computerized safe to get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Oh, gee, don't they know it gets ruins? Don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire ca- uh, Who cares? Who cares? Hey, you, stop! We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. He told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? 
Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Bro. What are you thinking? What I'm thinking? Bummer, this is like, mega embarrassing. We like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. The Royal Guard. Can clean armor and whisper. You attempt to touch our G1's armor. Your hands slip off. Hands off the merch. Okay. God, I don't like this. Whisper to him. Tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. Like what? I don't get it. He's polishing his face. Tell RG RG2 your favorite secret. I won't tell. I'm gonna passively restore some armor now, yeah. Sweat pours from his armor. Uh, clean it. You clean RG2's armor. It's cool and dirt. It begins to wash away. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Much better. RG1 looks bothered by something. Uh. Whisper to him? Be honest with your feelings. Some of the attacks are flustered. Dude. I can't. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, oh, too. I like. I like. Like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Oh, too. I like. Want to stay like this forever. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro, ha ha. A one. Yeah, bro? Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude, ha ha. They're looking at each other happily. Just two guys being good friends, you know? God, it's wild. What a bromance. Alpha's updated status. Oops, wait, how's the heal been doing? Just gonna like skip the dialogue when she updates her status. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotline. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there, reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs, for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like moi, without beautifying a few orbs. Look some more. Okay, there's a basketball. Oh my! It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. Okay, that the nondescript glass of water is currently in the lead. 
Um, there's a dog. What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. <laughs> Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this. Okay, it's tempting. Oh my, it's a present and it's addressed to you, Daryl. And you're just bursting with excitement. What could be inside? Well, no time like the present to find out. No, you made a pun, so not that one. This video game you found is dynamite. Though I don't make an appearance in it until three-fourths in. But I like that. Appearing from the heavens like mana. Slake, slacking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. That's a difficult sense. Oh, that's Metatone. I kind of like the nondescript glass of water. I'm honored to be in the presence of such a huge lukewarm water fan, folks. Yeah, the nondescript glass of water. I think that's, that's the real news here. Hydration's important. Attention viewers! A correspondent has found! A glass of water! But what's astonishing about this glass of water is how uninteresting it is. Like all glasses of water, it's comprised of water, glass, nitroglycerin. Wait a second. That's not a glass of water. That's a bomb. Oh no, this news report is turning into a disaster report. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh, a lot of things were bombs. The dog wasn't a bomb. Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. Does that include the dog? That dog's a bomb. Oh no, a basketball's a bomb. Even my words are. <laughs> Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible, how disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. Don't worry, I installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. Uses the fuse option when the bomb's in the de defuse zone. Now go get them. Dog defused. Okay, try to go for one in the bottom left next. Bomb defused. I got very lucky there. Am I gonna have a chance to heal? <laughs> Script bomb. Oh. Not a bomb. Bomb defused. 45 seconds left. I'm getting there. Basket bomb. Great job. Head for the center. I'm using uh, EM fields to trap the glass of water there. Extremely agile glass of water. Bomb defused. We're okay. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all of the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Oh. No, wait. No, we're good. We're, we're not dead. Ah. It seems the bomb isn't going off. That's because while you were monologuing, I... I... I fixed, um, I changed... Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses, it seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. This man's got a struggling live stream right now. It's, uh, it's looking kind of bleak for him. It's gonna be like me reporting the news like, 
Please don't leave. Don't click off this broadcast. I appreciate my seven viewers. Until next time, darling. We really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. Alfie's I'm counting down the days to when you're not doing that. So don't worry about the big dumb robot. I'll keep, I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just turn, uh, never mind. Later. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh, this is just a pat for. What does the big bomb do? Better appreciate all five of us, Dad. I do, don't worry. No, the big bomb doesn't do anything. Who else here is a bot? <laughs> Who else is not a real person in this chat? Beep boop. Alfie, please stop calling me. I notice you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and... If you're a human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So no worrying, okay? Just forget about it and smile. We're still all good for pacifist? We haven't missed anything? My fourth floor three, is that new? Still good. For all the actors, this is page 56. <laughs> Look at that, the spiders have their bake sale going. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries. All proceeds go to real spiders. It's like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. It's a spider donut. Looks more rubbery than usual. Check out the webs to make a purchase. Get your donut ready. Is there going to be a box up ahead for the donut? I ended up buying a donut. I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. Now I'm out of cash. Do it with the phone. I keep forgetting I have the phone. Thank you. Wait, when do I bring out the snowman piece? He wanted to see the world. Don't eat the donut. Okay, I won't eat the donut. <laughs> People are telling me not to bring the donut now. You guys made such a fuss when I got the donut, and now you're telling me not to do it. It's important he gets the donut. Okay, don't use it. Which is it? Don't eat it. I'm, I'm bringing the donut. We brought it this far. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not not using it at this point. Everyone told me to bring the donut. Oh, we got it. Alfie's here. This room is like the room we saw. Okay. That's wonderful. Please stop calling me. Please stop calling me. No, we're not. Okay, bye. 
just wanted to leave me alone. I'm so done with her. Worst character. Absolutely the worst one. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do here. I heard you the first five times, Dan. <laughs> it's just important. <laughs> Alfies, please. No, no, I'm not particularly keen on the idea. I'm good, I'm... Ah, oh, no, I'm busy that night. Oh, yeah. No, I can't do Thursday. Oh, I can't do Friday either. I'm actually busy every evening. Oh, it's such a shame. But hey, I'm uh, glad you called. Uh, talk soon. No. What was if I say no? Is it necessary for the pacifist run? No, it's not. Cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> there we go. One shot. Uh, I'm thinking I should probably heal at some point. I don't know when the next save point is. Yeah, just in case. That's a cactus. Alright, he's just chilling. Uh, have I gone this way? I don't think so. Oh, okay, this is where the two doors are. Got the bad ending. I somehow doubt it. Don't sweat about the pacifist uh, run things. The game loses a lot of leeway to do it. The only requirement you have to keep in mind is not kill anything. Cool. That's fine then. I guess it's not kill anything and make sure you do like some of the big encounters like the pirates and the date. Uh, okay, there's a plane and a Vulcan. What did the pl what did the the Vulcan wanted a hug? Get him gone. And you just keep approaching Sundari plane. What? Just kill me? What was that? The smoke! Oh, okay. I didn't even see it. It's after the plane crashes, right. No, I, I had no idea. Your defense lower because of Vulcan. Okay. Maybe I take care of the plane first then, and then get the Vulcan after. Seems to be a mandatory encounter here. Okay, well, that that was not a good idea. Get that one gone. Give him a hug. Living dangerously. Okay, I get one shot. Let's see. Go! He 
eat the astronaut food. Don't want to die randomly to the plane. Who are you guys? My favorite Metaton moment TM? Right when everything looks the baddest, he poses dramatically. When he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. My favorite Metaton moment TM is when he heats up the heel turn in villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. It's a oddly highlighted there, isn't it? I need to go down here. Yeah, I'm aware of what the donut does as well, guys. Yep, uh, you're good there. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Like, let's go. We saved the donut, we worked for that. I'm delivering this donut. I wanna see what happens. Let's go! I'm- I'm using the donut! <laughs> a hoo hoo. Did you hear what they just said? I said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. Yes, that's actually quite accurate. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard. That they're awfully stingy with their money. Hoo hoo hoo. Think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? Ooh, I disagree with that notion. I, I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Muffin traps you. Um... Uh, I have a spider donut. <laughs> Pay ten gold? How much have I pay her? Muffin well, reduces their attack for this turn. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Oh! I think purple is a better look on you. You're trapped in a strange purple web. Up next is spider. If I just eat the donut, is she just like, oh! You bought it! Struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. All the spiders clap along to the music. Do I just need to keep paying her? How are you gonna make a delicious cake? Up next is more spiders. Up next is more spiders. So it's gonna make every spider very happy. Hey, it's the donuts. Up next is the cupcake. Breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Uh oh. All the spiders clap along to the music. person who warned us about you. Mm. 
it pours you a cup of spiders. Nice. That is two camps where it's... Eat the donut! Don't eat the donut! <laughs> I think we can work something out. Such a sweet smile under who? That's a croissant! It's a boomerang! It's strange, but I swore I, swore I saw him in the shadows, changing shape. Hey, the croissant's boomerang. All the spiders clap along. This might be a tricky sequence. Oh. Oh, I'm getting low on health, guys. I better... Take a snack real quick. <laughs> huh? Where did you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pets, time to show you what we what we do with thieves. Ah, a telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. Let's just park that point there for now and not expand on it. The person who asked for that soul. It must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime. And for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Ah, just kidding. I'll spare you now. What a fight. Hey Jack, thank you for a thousand bits. You see, Mr. Phoenix, right? It was me who convinced you to buy the donut from the chemical factory. <laughs> Matthias, thank you for 1500 bits as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. That was fun. See you again, dearie. Can I just buy, like, more stuff from the shop now? I actually kind of need to get more food. Is there going to be a spot for more food up ahead? There is, okay. Is there anything over here now that I beat her? I can heal. Do have food in your phone too. Do I have? Do I? I thought that food in my phone... Yeah, I can't eat that food. I'm not supposed to. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, hello. There you are, dear. You're always welcome to my parlor. Just stay in your best behavior. She's chilling. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh, that human! Could it be? My one true love! Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> Fucking Fortnite sands in the corner! <laughs> oh, my love! Please run away, Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must 
live far apart Even if it breaks my heart They'll put you in the dungeon <laughs> It'll suck and then you'll die a lot. That doesn't even rhyme. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. These lyrics are terrible. That was a bullshit performance if I ever saw one. Does not deserve my voice. You have to earn my lyrical mastery. Von Karma! You're actually quite correct there. Damn, you've got a good agent. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my power more will surely perish. Oh heavens have mercy, the horrible color tile- oh no. <laughs> Each color tile has its own statistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will- actually wait a sec. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, did anyone keep notes? I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh, here we go. Blue is piranhas. How do I get through? Oh. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I'm so sorry. It looks like you're out of time. Oh, no. I'm about to die. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. Excuse me. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! That's right! Come on, Metaton! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! Your puzzle's over! Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over. Alfie's darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, it's attacking us again. <laughs> just yell at him. <laughs> you just yell. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Oh. Press Z. Is that X? That is X. Okay. Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. Look at 
Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. Oh, thanks. Alfie's, the, the line's breaking up. I can't hear you. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, guy knew has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. That's great to hear, Alfies. See ya. Here's these guys. Oh, hey. We're like taking a rain check and not killing your thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Seems happy. Hi, hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Did you keep the receipt? Okay, that's that stage there. Call Undyne to rat him out. <laughs> what, RGO1 and RGO2 are slacking off? Come on, they should be killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean. But they could at least try, you know? Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Uh, sure. What, you remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Got him. Oh. Oh, Sans is here. Hello. Hey, I uh, heard you're going to the court. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Uh, sure. Great, uh, thanks for treating me. Over here, I, uh, know a shortcut. Well, uh, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must, uh, really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but, but, uh, though, uh, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. It's what, it's what you have to do. Really worth it. Ah, forget it. I'm, uh, rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is that? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. And she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says... Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again. 
And again, it's a thing. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what's up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise them? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You would be dead where you stand. You, uh, would have had a bad time, you could say. It's okay, Sans. I'm glad I'm not dead where I stand. I hope you watch where you're standing. Hey, uh, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single- Sure? Sure, I'll take that praise. Hey, uh, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's not all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. You take care of yourself, Sans. Don't let anything bad happen. <laughs> this, this guy looks spooked. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kinda consuming dew off this ficus. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing. It's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm a re resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. If you're branching out to be a comedian, don't quit the day job, Sonny. Or, you know, become a Twitch streamer! Ho ho! <laughs> oh, this guy looks cheery. Blub blub. You have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silver, your food, your... That's a bad fountain. <laughs> Hotland Hotel. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial, Memorial Fountain. Built 21X. Mastodon added last week. Welcome to MTT Resort. Hotland's biggest apartment building. Turned hotel. But are you here for a night? I still live here. MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Uh, there was something over here, yeah. Hey. Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Yeah, check it out. Hey, check it out. You go get us some glam burgers. I'll pay you a thousand gold if you get Mediton to autograph my butt. Oh, okay. There's two of them. Attack up when worn. I don't know if that's strictly helpful with the cowboy hat. 
the mystery key. Probably to someone's house, lol. Okay, I mean, I, I can get the mystery, t the mystery key if I go back to Temi. Uh, I just need to sell some stuff, don't I? Should we, should we make a quick backtrack? Will it take long? The elevator is here, so I think I can get back down to the bottom. It'll take a little bit. Yeah, waterfall. <sighs> the mystery key is the key to my heart. Please help. It really, it's really is dire. The mystery key is the key to my heart. Fuck, I think I dropped it somewhere. Oh no. Okay, there's a box at the Tem, like the Tem Town. Head on over. That's a good time to probably take a bathroom break since it's so, nothing crazy important is going on. Uh, yeah, if anyone does want to take a break, like the next two minutes, I'm just going to be running back and forth here. It'd be a good time. Yeah, there's a box. Uh, old tutu, ballet shoes. That's all I can sell. The Temi armor costs a little less, but it's still a lot of money. Okay, uh, leave them be. They scare me. Hot dog, the noodles, crab apple. Okay, make our way back. If you farm dog residue, you can get the Temi armor. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I'm good. It sounds absolutely excruciating. Oh, I didn't see where I was going. Whoops. Uh, we'll just get the ferry again in a moment. Did he murder everyone yet? Oh no, don't worry. I'm being everyone's friend in this run. Don't you worry. We're gonna get the good ending. Back to Hotland. Somewhere it's Friday, so be careful. Oh no! I feel like a dramatic chord could be placed there. Done. <laughs> we're okay. Okay, we're going back to get the mystery key. Uh, was it right floor top or left floor top? Which one? Right top, thank you. You might need the Temi armor first, Jim. Die guy. Thanks for the 500 bit score, man. 
Oh yeah, it's like, what if- What if Sans turns on me, you know, and I get into a fight? Oh, I'd be in trouble then. Mystery key. Okay, that- that's all my money on that key. Um, where do I take it? Is it onward, or do I have to go back somewhere? If I have to go back somewhere, I don't mind people, like, pointing at where I'm going. Back to Waterfall. Oh, is it that locked house next to the ghost guy? Okay. Okay. Uh, left floor one. Yeah, again, if you want to take a bathroom break, this is a good time. Hope everyone's been enjoying the stream. I didn't pay attention again. It's gonna take even longer. Now you can get an even longer bathroom break in. You know, freshen up. Have a shower. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes, could you stop? <laughs> Uh-oh, suddenly feeling tropical. Oh, we all have that phase. Gotta be careful, you think the Hawaiian shirt will look good and then you have seven of them. Gotta be careful, the slippery slope. It's locked. Can I just talk to him about it? I'm not gonna keep working on a mix CD. Take the key out. It's too bent to fit in your keychain. Do I use it? Use the mystery key, the red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. There's a lot of books in here. Dear diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without a sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the idea. Dear her diary, I'd like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, a cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling Diary, I met someone. Interesting today. Last week I posted an advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first me meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Your diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form that l like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluekey, my dreams can't wait for anyone. I can't get past the diary wall to see what's over there. Um... <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> okay, we got some lore. Uh, where? I take it that's what the key was for, didn't you? Okay. Hopefully we find a little more money soon, because I'm going to be in trouble otherwise. <laughs> Happy late trans day of visibility, everyone. Oh, yeah, it was yesterday, yes. Is that what that's in relation to?
I thought it was someone just leaving. Oh, this is the wrong way to the boat guy as well, isn't it? Where, where's the boat guy? It was down back the other way. It's a metaphor not ending canon. Oh, okay, right. Gotcha. Hopefully we find money soon. Walks past the item droop he used just before. Uh, should I do that? Oh, I could do that again. It might just take a while. I, I have very little money to begin with. I don't have the patience. Got a heartland. We'll find more. Over there. We've only got two hours left of April 1st, though. If we don't finish today, we need to wait till April 1st, 2023. Oh, that's absolutely right. Yeah, once it hit, we hit April 2nd, like the stream just ends. Today's a day of foolery. If we don't finish it, it just ends and you have to wait till next year. I should have mentioned that clause before I started. And you know, on that note, I'm gonna go refill my water real quick. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Hello, are you well? I muted myself. I was back for a minute just drinking water. <laughs> I was wondering why no one was saying anything. Okay, we have uh, two hours and three minutes to finish the game. Otherwise, you have to wait till next year. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight, um. I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. Hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. Well, welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, TM. I can't afford anything. Steak in the shape of Metaton's face. He spent everything on the key. I'm sorry, it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. I can't afford anything. Have a sparkular day! I'm, I'm never going back to him. Terrifying. Oh, room service. Got my CT. No. Locked from the inside. Room service, got my cinnamon bun. You're shuffling, seems like you could put something under the door. You put a hot dog in front of the door. A white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room. It keeps pressing down too hard and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. 
single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. What just happened? Hush puppy heals 65. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. Okay, that, I mean, that's actually pretty good. Seems busy. I can go way back and get a cinnamon bun. Can't I? Where, where sold cinnamon buns? That was just the basic shop in, in Snowden. I want to really trek. Guess we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this instant, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G a room. I can't afford it. <laughs> There's the restaurant. Okay, let's go into the core. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Let's press on. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. The elevator isn't working. The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. There's just fire here. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. Alfies, please. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Watch out! A magic pops out of its hat. Uh... Clear mind? You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Defense increased by one. Please and thank you. Smells like magic. What if I stare at him? Oh! Chaser orb. The unrelenting chaser orb has, was weakened by your glare. Stare at the corner orb. Have I just got to weaken his orbs? Yep, his orbs are gone. There you go. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. There were two monsters there, but only like one in the encounter. Bit weird. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Okay. Got it? Move until the third one. Okay. Oh, right. They, they just instantly shoot off. Got it. Oh my god, are you hurt? I'm so sorry, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Crossroads, uh, uh, try heading to the right. Should I just go left, like up? She's gonna lead me the wrong way every time, isn't she? Wait, no, I think. <laughs> okay, well now I gotta head right. I guess this was the right way. More lasers. Okay, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're, they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I... It's okay. I have this under control. I'm gonna turn off the power for that whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. Don't turn back on. Wait, stop! The power, it's turned itself back on. Damn it, this isn't supposed to... I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little, and then stop, okay? You won't get hurt. There we 
go. Slow and steady. See? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. I know it's under control because I keep saying it's under control. It's like if someone has to say they're fine 12 times in a minute, that means they're fine, right? Okay, you should. You should. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. Just, just yeah, just just head off. Go, go. Take the afternoon off to yourself. Solve this puzzle and the end will open. We have two shots. The ice cubes are finally dead. Is that where the ice cube ends up? Like going through all the levels. Yeah, it is. Like, what's the point? There's a glam burger inside the trash can. Oh, nice trash burger. They cool the core. Okay. Press the Northern Room and the end will open. Oh! Swims a lot in the final froggin. Um... Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Swims a lot remembers its conscience. Still hope. God! Wims a lot doesn't want to fight anymore. Okay, we got Wims a lot down. Uh, compliment the final froggit. I understood you perfectly. It's attack dropped. Nod, nod. Jesus. 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 Get him gone. Uh, mystify. He did something mysterious. Final Frog recognizes it as more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Final Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. Okay, mercenaries emerge from the shadows. Uh, okay, this guy we know is to get rid of his orbs. No, it's fine. Stop his other orb. Get him gone. Uh, I can sing. He sings to Shiren's song. Night Night starts to look sleepy. We just have that now as a thing we can do, do we? Night Night smashes her morning star. Sing more. We keep singing. Night Night falls asleep. Night Night is snoring. There we go. What a nightmare. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, whims a lot. Pray. And it remembers its conscience. Final frog it. Mystify. There's more to learn from this world. I gotta be careful. Oh! Uh, eat the crab apple. I, I, I need to get rid of some of the enemies. <laughs> yeah, you've seen enough. That's better. Oh, Jesus.
Ah, uh, challenge. Stand up to astigmatism. Dare to defy me. Stigmatism gazes through your soul. Challenge. I, I don't think the challenges are doing it. This relentless bully always gets its way. Seen enough. Oh. You hypnotize and glare. This, is challenge not gonna work? Do I need to pick on him instead? Pick on astigmatism. That's right. Astigmatism doesn't care about fighting anymore. Here we go. Button spin hit. We actually did get some money for that fight too, which is nice. We're gonna be able to get some food soon. Hundred G inside the bin. I actually have enough money. I could I could go back and get a bedroom in the place, couldn't I? Might not be a bad idea. Oh no, there's a shortcut up ahead, okay. So we just press on a bit. This way? You can, but you'll be off world record pace. It's a difficult decision. I think we can bring it back though. Stick with it. Just pick on. No time for challenge. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. Filled with determination. Okay. Uh, and that leads back down here. Okay, that's a nice shortcut. So let's hop on down, use the bed. Wow, what a room. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> Some sort of giant ball of perfume. Oh, the rectangle. The cap is so comically large you can't open it. The lamp. It says the stars make their own light. Okay. Well, we're rested now. Oh, this is the room service from before as well. Okay. Uh, I have a bit of money. I can, I can, I might as well buy some glam burgers, yeah. I don't think I need to buy the steak in the shape of his face. I don't have that much HP. Buy two burgers. Legendary here is so good. Attack up in battle, but like, I, I'm not using attack. Talk. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So, I want to be an actor. 
Uh... Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. Probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait. There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a new, brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. Stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. I feel like that would be his voice. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. I don't think he can smoke while on the job here. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some clam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Lamberger story new. <laughs> it's true, life does end when you're 20. Enjoy your knees. <laughs> no, li life doesn't end when you're 20, but seriously, enjoy your knees. Seriously, I like, don't. You will lose them. I went out to the alley to see those two ladies, and, uh, you know, see what'll happen next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Oh, God love you. And the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. This looks like a guy who's got a good handle on life. You see, he's not letting it get to him. He's not letting the dread set in. Don't let it set in. Don't do it. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Mediton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Mediton bad? God, have you ever even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I bought one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Uh, yeah, he's getting on in years. <laughs> it's a powerful image here. <laughs> Him smoking the cigarette, too. Okay, see, uh, see you later, bud. Okay, we have some food. I can eat most of this food. I don't need to keep the quiche for anything, do I? I still have the snowman. Butterscotch pie we need to keep to the end. Daniel, it is weed? Oh no, that's the wacky backy! They're not supposed to show that in games. Oh, I gotta call my mom, she's not gonna like this. Oh fuck, she sent me a text, she knows. I'm in trouble. Ah, just taking some water. That voice was a bit dreadful on the throat. Excuse me, I hope we don't have to see him again. Ah, more water. He's stalling. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Nah, malfunction, reprogramming, get real. 
This was all just a big show. An act. Alfie's has begun, has been playing you for a fool the whole time. She watched you on the screen. She grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from the dangers that didn't exist. Also, you would think she's the great person. That she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alfie's is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show. Don't they? That's a little cheeky nod to you guys. And what's a good show? Without a plot twist. Hey, what's going on? The, the door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. On our new show. Attack of the Killer Robot. He's attacking us again. Burn! This is probably what you'll do if conti things continue in this manner. Uh oh. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core! I was the one that hired everyone to kill you! That, however, was a short sighted plan. You know it would be a hundred times better. Killing you myself! Uh oh. That wordless pea shooter won't work on me, darling! Don't you understand what acting is? Check. Seriously, his metal body is invulnerable. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Okay. This is new. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Yeah, I see what's happening. So gates. Then using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me! Bombs are kind of like Bomberman style bombs. Glitz! Glamour! I'll finally have it all! So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby! Uh, I can't- I can't see what's going on in there, but... Don't give up, okay? There, there's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... It's a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward. That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around, uh, and, um, press the switch, he'll, uh, be... he'll, uh, be vulnerable. Well, gotta go. I mean, he predicted this, but... Well, what else do we do? We tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Mm, I don't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? Oh, yes. Uh oh. Oh, my. If you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So as thanks, 
I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Absolutely beautiful. Master Sony X makes his premiere. Oh, wait, 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 we have ratings. Uh, they're going down. <laughs> Pose. You pose dramatically, the audience nods. Lights, camera, action. Oh my god, okay. Uh, boast. You say you aren't gonna get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Mendelton's turn. Drama, romance, bloodshed. Okay, you can just dodge him. You don't have to hit them. I'm not gonna get hit, I'll just keep boasting. I'm the idol everyone craves. Disappointment. <laughs> Heel turn. You turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this turn. Smile for the camera. Justice! The ratings went up because I got hit. Say you aren't going to get hit at all. Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. What do you love most about Mediton? Uh... Heels. Beautiful. Sometimes the fewest words speak loudest. May I attempt saving your essay for future use. Pose. Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Boast. Oh, I'm just warming up. Ugh. There's always one. Eat a Glamberg. On brand food. The audience loves the brand. Perfect. But how are you on the dance floor? How do I- how do I get through that? Violence plus 25! Heel turn. The ruin for my destruction. Can you keep up the pace? Oh, I get it. Right. You have to turn it. Uh, eat another burger! <laughs> Lights, camera, bombs! I get it. Keep scoffing at the audience. Things are blowing up! Pose. Time for our union regulated break! Happy break time, but that... The union coming in clutch. Uh, he's really going for it. You say you aren't gonna get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase. But grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? His arms are falling off. Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Close. Raids are at 7,000. They're going up. Come on. I'm gonna need to eat another Glamberg. The show must go on. Oh, good fucking lord. What have I got to get the ratings to? I'm not gonna kill him if I keep going. They need to be higher. We need to reach the yellow line. Okay. 
He's getting injured. Enough of this, do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? I'm gonna have to boast more. How inspiring! Well, Dino, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Win is the true power of humanity's star. Didn't get hit. Strike a pose. He's getting badly injured. I'm worried I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> and are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? God almighty, he's going for it. Uh, eat the hush puppy. Strike a pose. God almighty. <laughs> And strike a pose! 10,000! Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. Oh, look at these ratings! This is the most viewers I've ever had! We've reached the viewer call-in milestone! One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me! Before I leave the underground forever! Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV! What do you have to say on this, our last show? We got a caller here, highlight a chat message, play inscription. <laughs> I've heard good things, uh, but we're playing this right now. <laughs> Some other time. I've heard good things from Kiwo. It's just, this might not be the moment for that, you know? Pop it in the old suggestion box. <sighs> He's got more viewers than Dan. <laughs> Oh, hi, Metaton. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but... Seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Vicariously. We have another caller on the line! They keep saying PogChamp for some reason, followed by CatJam and Monka S. We think they're having a stroke. And we'll call for an ambulance shortly. Can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait! Wait! They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll wa watch without you. Another caller on the line. Why isn't he playing Minecraft? <laughs> oh, that's just, let's just hang up on that number. Hang up on that one. Okay. Mediton. There's a mediton shaped hole in my mediton shaped heart. I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground will lose its spark. I'd leave an ache and void that can never be fulfilled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Ha ha. It's all for the best. Anyway, the truth is... This form's energy consumption is... 
inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be all right. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. I... I managed to open the lock. Are you two... Oh my god. Metaton. Metaton, are you... Thank god, it's just the batteries. They're gonna be okay. Metaton, if you were gone, I would've... I would've... I mean, I... Hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Let me just go eat another glam burger. Oh, no, the door's locked. Okay, see ya. Rip the pacifist run. <laughs> I think we're okay. We're still level one. We're good, yeah? You killed him. Yep, yeah, we're still good. You killed his batteries. <laughs> you monster, they were double A, they had a family. They had triple A kids. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. So you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be, you must be pr pretty excited about that, huh? Keep walking. Preferably in silence. You'll finally... You'll finally get to go home! Oh. Wait! I mean, um... I... I was just going to, um... Say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I'd lie to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Okay, see you later! <laughs> That's the end of that. <laughs> Do I have to go back and see her? Is, is there anything if I go back to the lab? Couldn't we just kill a regular froggit or something? Yeah, <laughs> just like, grab like the equivalent of a Goomba. Not yet, okay. Castle elevator. I probably need to get some more food, don't I? I can buy- I can buy another burger. If I go further back, I can get some cinnamon buns. Uh, I- I feel like I should do that now. This is getting, like, quite climatic, I think. Well, the elevator's- it's not working. Okay. You have food on your phone, do I? I have dog residue and a snowman who wanted to see the world. I can't eat the snowman. Oh, I can use the residue and, like, potentially get more food, can I? Because it's spawns salads.
There's a salad. And then we just uh, throw some of these away. See? Uh, th this might take a while though in practice. I don't know what the odds are. I'm, tr I'm discarding a lot of dog residue. <laughs> Give it one more. Okay, uh, let's just get rid of the rest of it. Put that back in. New home. It's a golden flower. This is, this is like the Hattorial's home. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Cold is still warm. Their photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Oh! A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. There's a key. Put on our phone's keychain. Fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There's white fur in the drain again. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. I have a key. I assume it's for there, but there's paths over here. There's a heart-shaped locket in the box. We take it. We got the heart-shaped locket. Heart locket. Armor defense 15. It says best friends forever. Equip the locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. Okay, I mean, I don't really want to equip that. The frying pan's better because it heals more. I'm under renovations. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page per, current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one nose muzzle, Champs 98. It's a bureau. It's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Clothes drawer, robes, button up shirts. And a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guide. We got the keys. Unlock the chain. Check the mirror. Oh, hang on. Wait, where's the mirror? I didn't see a mirror. The end of the hall. Despite everything, it's still you. It's still you. Despite everything, it's still you. It's still you. Everything's fine. Oh. Then one day, a human became very ill. A sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day. The next day. 
the human died. That's unfortunate time for Sans Fortnite Undertale to be dancing in the corner of the screen. <laughs> A human is dead. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. Transformed into a beam with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. As you reach the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. It's like Fortnite, yeah! Suddenly, screams ran out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. <laughs> this is that that, um, that um, uh, alert for April Fool's Day is ruining this entire sequence. <laughs> the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azriel did not fight back. Touching the human. <laughs> Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded. Azriel got the victory royale. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Sand stabbed on them. <laughs> the king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. Give us hope, save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Wow, thanks for the 10 gift subs. <laughs> yeah, I think we're smiling and happy right now. <laughs> You're going to be free. I was an elevator there. I'm curious. What happens if we hop down here? So you, uh, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a, in a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. 
Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of uh, measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will be hurt. The less you hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you... You've, uh, never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you, uh, kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe, uh, maybe not. Now, you're about to face the, uh, greatest challenge of your entire journey. Is that right, Sans? Is that really correct? Your, uh, actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will, uh, take your soul and destroy humanity. If you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will, uh, remain trapped in the underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would, uh, thrown in the towel by now. For you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Sans believes in us. We're going to get the good ending. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Go back and do Alfie's. Do, do, do I need to? Is there more stuff? I will go see it. If, if, if cause we've been doing everything. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Gorman, thanks for the another thousand bits. Thank you very much. Quit the game, reload, talk to Sans, do it over again till he gives you the key to his room. Is that a thing? How, how long will that take? There is a thing. It's such a waste of time. We have only got like an hour and then April Fool's Day ends and then like the game uninstalls itself from my computer. Like, you completely delete it. Squirtle likes with those 100 bits. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, wait, wait, do I need to get the snowman? <laughs> snowman piece. Is his trigger up ahead? Takes forever, it's not word. Okay, alright. Sure. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going. Throne room. Throne entrance. What's over here? A 
It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Sussy. It's empty. Oh. This is this is all the hearts he's trying to collect. Okay. All right, let's do this. Dum -de -dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know, you know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Another throne covered by a white sheet. Okay, I'm good to keep going, yeah? I don't have to head back for anything right now, do I? This does look like the end of everything. Yeah, I'm good to keep going, okay. How oh, tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, Please do what you must. Okay, am I- am I alright to keep continuing? I'm not missing anything though. Alright. Should I go buy a burger? <laughs> Should I? I don't have a lot of healing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, two minutes. I I gotta go to McDonald's. I've just got a craving. Yep. I need my chicken nu nuggets. Hang on. Just, you know, sometimes the craving just comes. You can't, you, you, you can't ignore her too long. Okay, that just pops me over there. Okay, I'm- I'm almost at the McDonald's. 
Where was that elevator from the hotel that took me all the way up? I didn't see it. Guys, this unlocks an ending no one's ever seen before. The McDonald's ending. <laughs> Now the thing is, if I buy the burger, I get one item of healing, but if I go further back, I can get a few cinnamon buns. <laughs> no, I didn't... Okay, give me, give me the burger. I also need to put some boxes stuff away. Uh, apron, dagger. Cool. Uh, buy one of them. Use the dagger. You need dagger. <laughs> Everyone's so upset. <laughs> Why do I need the knife? <laughs> you need the dagger. Bye. Can I toss it? <laughs> Should I? Can I go sell it? I'll go back to Tem- like, Temmie. Elevator isn't working. Well, let me walk back. I'm trying to get like the complete pacifist ending, and I feel like I'm on track for that still, yeah? Squirtle, thank you for 20 gift subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, we are. It's literally just a weapon. Yeah, I don't think I need it. I don't know why people are like, so insist- Like, you- You have to have it! You have to fight SADS! <laughs> like, we didn't even encounter SADS like that in this run. Spooky Mr. Undertale, man. Fucking hell. Squ okay, Squirtle, you gotta calm down. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Squirtle. Incredibly generous. Yeah, I hope you're all enjoying the stream. Okay, let's go. Back to the end. We, we, we hopped out to McDonald's. Have a Big Mac for later. He really made 6,000 people wait to get McDonald's. Imagine you're going to like a concert or something. <laughs> the guy on stage is just like, hang on real quick. Can you guys give me like 15 minutes? I, ju I just need some chicken nuggets.
Okay, there's a save point here. They give you a lot of save points. Okay. We have our food. Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it then. Ready? This is my heart collection. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, so mercy is no longer an option. Any attack defense. His attacks are the same as Toriel's. Quali tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh my... God. The Star of Fate? Oh, I kind of see what's happening. Okay, so orange you move and then blue you stop. Right. You have to eat the pie. Wait, what? What do you mean I have to eat the pie? I'm on health. I've got health. What do you mean? Quickly. Shove the apple! <laughs> Shove the apple brand into your mouth! It needs to go down your esophagus! It's quickly as you're hanging on McDonald's finest apple crumble. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. His defense is down. Oh shit, it's actually working! Okay, we got the pie in. Do I have to hit him? Can I not just keep talking? Okay. We can do it. I'm gonna bop him with the pan. Oh. <laughs> Gotta really memorize those. That's gonna be brutal as this goes on. You don't need to fight him. Every okay, everyone was just saying, don't fight, like, fight him, you have to fight, you have to fight. And now everyone's saying, talk, talk. <laughs> okay, I'm closing, chat. You're on your own. <laughs> I'll try talk.
recollection flashes in his eyes. As goes attack drop. Seems talking won't do any more good. I gotta, like, kick the shit out of him a little bit, and then we just get it back. We talk to him later. This is a pacifist- okay, right, okay, real talk. I'm actually getting a bit stressed because people are just saying do bowl. Yeah. I'm trying to get pacifist run, but people kept telling me I have to fight him. You're good. Okay. Have to fight, okay. Alright! I'm gonna get my ending regardless. gonna take a while. Okay, people are, so people are telling me I just can't get the pacifist ending. Hang on. Ash, thank you for the raid. Very welcome. The wrong, okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Stressful play in this game. <laughs> I'm supposed to be pranking all of you, right? I'm going on the, like, the basis that I have to fight him a bit, and then later we get the spare. How low have I got to get him? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Eat a burger. Very low. Keep smacking. I'm getting my ending. Oh, we're getting perfect pan strikes. 
but not so perfect on those bits. Okay, how much lower? <laughs> Okay, I can't hurt him much more. <laughs> I can't. Asgore is low HP. Okay, that must be the cue. No. Well, shit. Gotta eat the quiche. I think this is my worst attack against him. So bad dodging that one. <laughs> I was it kept getting more powerful. Okay, reset it quick. Do that again. I was trying to wait for it to go on the other side. Let's reset that. Oh, how's this all going? <laughs> Title screen. Look at all the gang here. That was supposed to happen? <laughs> Could have fooled me. That was good. <laughs> you could have fooled. I'm. So, I, I, he died, as far as I could see. How much time we have left? Forty-five minutes. Okay. You've got forty-five minutes, and then the stream ends. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we don't finish it. What if we don't get there? I wasn't sure that people were telling me I need to spare about low health. That's why I stopped. <laughs> Physical pain. <laughs> Everyone was telling me I need to spare him. And, like, talk to him when he gets low. That's the thing. That's why I stopped and just quit the game. Let's script it. Okay. Move on, you're wasting time. I actually need to use the toilet. <laughs> I might be in there two minutes. But that's okay, because you got 43 of them left. So I'll be right back.
Ah, welcome back, guys. How y'all doing? Fucking hell, Squirtle. You gotta stop that. It's way too generous. Thank you very much. Ah. Screw you! <laughs> that was a bit harsh. Look, I, I, I was confused there because people were telling me I, need, I needed to make sure that he doesn't die. <laughs> like, you know, I, I just thought I got it wrong, so I reset it, and then I had to actually use the loo. It's fine. Stop playing Undertale. <laughs> Maybe we should have done Fortnite. Oh god, it's too controversial. You lost 600 viewers? I, who cares? I had to use the loo. You want, you want me to piss here? I'll be honest with you. I know, we, did, we didn't even lose that. Like, it's fine. People are still here. Thanks for bearing with me as I take a toilet break. Squirt, Squirtle, Jesus. You gotta stop. Holy shit. Oh my god, Leo as well, five gift subs. Ajax, thank you, like, thank you very much everyone. You're being very kind to me tonight. Like, I, I do hope people have enjoyed the stream today. I've had a lot of fun playing this. I've been having a good time. I think the people upset with me don't know what we did at the start of the stream, too, do they? <laughs> oh, they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm just reading chat for a moment, making sure you're all good. It's been fun to watch. It's the first one I've watched so far. Thank you very much. This isn't fun. Like, <laughs> what? Are you guys okay? Do you, do you need some calm down time? Like, uh, I'm just talking to chat. We're just, we're just cooling off a mo, and then we're gonna go do the boss again. Okay. Kiko, thank you for the gift subs, Kieran. Jesus, Kenobi, thank you for the 2,000 bits. I've been having a great time playing this. I think some people are getting a little too worked up, and you just, you just gotta chill. Alright? And don't worry, because if we don't finish it next year, <laughs> we might get to. So don't worry. I gotcha. Don't worry. Oh my god. Who the fuck did that? Anonymous, Jesus. Icarus as well. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are being unbelievably kind. Hang on, just one sec. It's all G. There we go. See, like, Jesus Christ, though, guys. Like, thank you very much. You're being unbelievable with the meta support for me tonight. Like, I really do appreciate it. I hope people have been enjoying the stream. I've been having a good time with it. It's fun doing this run. Even with the, uh, the additional context that the beginning of the stream established. It's been very fun. They're not gonna like it when we get the, the game beaten. They don't know what's coming. God almighty, some of you are going to be upset. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's keep going. Okay. So I gotta fight him down. And then something happens. Fight two. We've done it once before, I can do it again. <laughs> Go, Fortnite Sans! <laughs> He's just gonna dab on the haters as we go. I believe in him. Okay, I, I have the apple pie. Do I just eat that off the bat or do I wait for a bit of heal? Wait for a bit of heal. You can give him an old schmeck. I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I'm bad at dodging his attacks. I'm getting my end in out of this. Eat the pie. Attack down, defense down. That's the cannon one I care about. I did this fight first try already. <laughs> Didn't even die once. Attack. <laughs> now, is there anything I can... Can I talk to him about anything at this point? Like, hey, you know... I saw Toriel the other day. Just to calm him down a bit. Talking helps a bit with the fight. Make his heart tremble. I hate this attack. I'm so bad at dodging it. <laughs> that was the worst one yet. All right. Uh, I can heal a little bit. Move and stop. 173. He's getting weaker as the fight goes on. Believe in Fortnite Sands. Can inhale the burger. I'm surprised that one hit because I'd have to just stand still. I guess he goes quick. Halfway. Give him a bop. Yeah. 
Sans is, is canonically in the room, outer room Fortnite dancing. <laughs> He's just listening to the fucking default dance. He's got headphones on. <laughs> Talk again. Do I keep talking or do I just bop him here? I think I can just bop him here. Yeah? I think I'm good. Keep bop. A little bit more. Stay still. Okay, gearing up for the end. I think one more swing's gonna do it. Oh, if I can make it to one more. <laughs> Eat the noodles. Bop him. Ah. Oh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once been again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike. And free us from this terrible prison. And I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Fucking Sans says, no time. <laughs> He's just gonna keep dancing. Because of the way that gift sub was done, I think as well, like, that that's gonna just keep popping up a while. Like, thank you so much to whoever did that for like, I, I don't even know how many that was. That was like 50 or 100 or something. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy Sans dancing. Like, thank you so much. It's incredibly kind. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Uh oh. <laughs> Stop, it's not me. Sans is doing his own thing. <laughs> yeah.
You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Well, the game reset. Is that it? <laughs> that it? GG? Oh, we're done! Oh, just in time, ahead of midnight. Let me reboot it. This back up. That seems about right. Oh yeah, it's, it's doing this stuff again. I forgot about this. We're still good for the pacifist engine, yeah? We're still good. Let's just check this. Yep, still on track. Cool. I forgot about the, this, uh, this, this bit of it. Let's go for a stroll. Uh oh. Oh, Bob Ross is here to wish us well! Jesus Christ, Squirrel. You've done so much. Thank you very much. I thank you to everyone who's gonna give him bits and subs. Like, Jesus Christ, yeah. Tired to ignore. There's been a lot of alerts. Thank you so much, guys. Marius, thank you for a thousand bits there. Leo, thanks for the three gift subs. Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the Flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel them wriggling. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. Sorry, some people are saying I'm getting the neutral ending. Are we not good? This is happening again. We're good for pacifists, yeah? We've been doing it. We're good, yeah. We're good. Okay. There's a few folks determined to say otherwise. Still getting my ending. Before I become God. And then, my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Yeah, okay, you stupid flower. <laughs> no one forget about escaping to your old save file. It's God forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. You can watch me tear you to bloody peace. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Over and over. Over and over. What do you really think you can stop me? Hee hee hee. You really are an idiot. Now it's time for a JPEG that's been stuck in the game. No one's really sure what's going on with this guy.
It's a bit weird. I, I, don't, I don't think there's much I can do. <laughs> I got him for one damage. Bad dream. And you're never waking up! Oh. That's painful on the eyes! <laughs> that- that felt unnecessary! Yeah. Hee hee hee. Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied? Killing you only one time. Let's go again. Yeah, okay, do your little spiel, sure. I think I just have to die. Like, there's, there's no way for me to survive. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking Christ. Warning. Oh, we're good. Call for help. There we go. The hearts are helping us. Just survive a little longer. Hell! <laughs> he just went mad in Photoshop. Oh, there was a fight button there. I didn't even have time to process it. Fucking Christ! Where's the button? I didn't even have time for a full heal. Oh. It's just so much shit. Oh, he reloaded the save file. That seems fair. His blue eye is awakened. Call for help. Whew. Somehow we're kind of surviving. A little. I don't know how scripted it is. I did a little more damage. Oh, just a bad dream, but I can't wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna just spare your eyes.
It's not worth even showing on the on the on the screen. It's actually horrible. Okay, pathetic, now you're gonna die. He likes to laugh. Is there a lore reason that Flowey is Photoshop? There it is. Give us, give us good words. Okay, he saved it there, so he's gonna reload at some point. I honestly hate this boss. I think this is awful. <laughs> this bit's fine. Oh, there's a button. Full heal. There's a help bar! I'm making some progress! Oh, okay, it's just a handgun. Try... Get out of the way! Call for help! That's rough for healing. <laughs> Hello friends, how you doing? By the power of the Chaos Emeralds, you're gonna be able to beat... Photoshop. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. Christ. I, t I don't know what to do with that. Get that. Fight. This feels like an elaborate, like, Monty Python's flying circus intro. You know, like the animation style they have in that game. Well, in that in that show. 
Terry Gilliam's gone too far on the animations this time. Ah, uh, he's dead. Ugh. No, no! This can't be happening! You, you! File 3 loaded. You idiot. That seems fair. That's not painful on the eyes at all, nope. He he he. Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. Call for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Oh. We're good. How'd you? Well, I'll just... The power of friendship has defeated Adobe Photoshop. The corporations can't stand up to our combined might. We'll just share the same account. Oh yeah, that, that, that's lovely on the eyes. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that's just painful. Don't put that in your game. Okay, we gotta show mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Plowy ran away. Uh, do I just walk off now? <laughs> he grew legs, apparently. He photoshops them on. That's how it works. Plowy wouldn't run a good Instagram account or something like that. He'd be using, like, all the filters and adjustments. Not even sure what you're looking at come the end. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Temi Chang. Well, we got the good ending. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there's, there's still a bit more to go from what I understand. Uh, let's keep going. We got a little more. Got a little more. 
And if not, there's always next year, right? Ring, ring. Hey, is anyone there? Well, just call him to say. You made a snowman really happy. Guess I should say something else, too. So it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. It's instated a new policy. All the humans who fell through here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, things are looking grim for our freedom. The queen's trying her best not to let us... not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If we're not getting given up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take. But we will get out of here. Sans, who you talking to? Oh, uh, nobody. What, nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second! I recognize this number! Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alfie's with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us all out of here. Undyne is helping here too. Though to be honest, her method of help seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alfie's likes having her around. Oh hey, what are you up to, you punk? Yeah. Please don't noogie the phone. Noogie? What does that mean? Hey, who's in charge here? Oh yeah, that's right. Quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working a now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. I'm gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, and a gym. T I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to do. It's not your fault, he. Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. I guess I'll tell you how Alfie's is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever are you? I hope it's better. Wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. I feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna? Now she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, they wouldn't uh, get the phone back for at least a few hours. You have the mercy to spare you from her. Call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So I hate to cut this short, but I'll be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. Hello there. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why do things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I knew some way to get you a better ending. You'll have to load your save file and... 
Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happy... I'm just fooling you, so of course we're doing it, don't worry, it's only gonna be like 20 minutes, so... I scared some of you there! <laughs> Last April Fool's prank of the night! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, so I just gotta reload my save file. Uh, we're right back here, okay? So we can go back and get it. Ah, oh, God. Thank you for not making me wait another year. Thank you, Matthias, for the 2,000 bits. You're very kind. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, there'd be, like, bloody murder. Yeah, we're not done. So, like, like, there's still, like, a bit more to do to get the, the true pacifist ending. There's a bit more to do to get my ending. Wait, is this right? Yeah, there we go. Genocide next. What, you think I'm gonna play this game through and just, like, rootlessly murder everyone? Like, Jesus. <laughs> Why would I do that? Hey! Oh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowed in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Because they didn't deliver, like, the post. We got the bad end. Was it... It's the bottom of the elevator first, yeah? Yeah, it is. Aaron, thank you for 1500 bits. Heads up, it's not 20 minutes, it's more like an hour and some change if you're quick. I will spare an hour. Let's go an hour. Thank you very much. Sky to Winner, thank you for a thousand bits as well. Okay, we're going quick. We're beeline to where we need to be. Because otherwise you gotta wait here. <laughs> okay, they're in front of Papyrus' house, was it? There we go. Mom, um, so I have a favor to ask you. I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alfie's. Why don't I do it myself? Well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks, I don't want to have to go over there. But here you go. And if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best! Drop it, read it, throw it in the fire? No, I'm delivering it. I'm not going through someone else's post.
Uh, slide the ladder under. Sure. Slide the ladder under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. That can't be good. Oh, hey! This is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you have wrote it that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This. So passionately too. You know what, okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. No. Oh, I don't want to date Alfie's. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, God love her. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. This is supposed to be happening. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Date and stuff. Oh, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First I've got metal armor polish. You can't use that, but... Waterproof cream for your scales. Magical spear repair kit. Let's just start the date. Do I want to fail this date? Because I'm not supposed to be on this. I feel like if my character spoke like a word of dialogue, this could all be avoided. Do you like anime? <laughs> anime? That's for nerds! Unless we're talking Attack on Titan, you know, season finale coming out next Sunday. No, it's not like I've been following the like the four seasons up to this point and the final the final season, which is basically a fifth season, you know, uh not excited for a potential movie tie in at all. No, no, no. Anime Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the gar that's not a great place. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Find all sorts of great stuff here. Yeah, she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. Can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I realize if you if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Oh, you don't have it. Ah, have you at least seen her? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. Just figured, you know? It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you and make you feel better. Well, that sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud, and the real scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... Thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? <laughs> Just keep lying. This, yeah, this will. This can only end well. No, tell her the truth. <laughs> truth. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy, or true, or neither of us are. 
They say be yourself. I don't really like what myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. That's the key to misery. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen to people who le learn the truth on their own. Like, look at Fortnite Sans. Like, he's so just comfortable with- and himself. That, you know, he's gonna bust into the stream dancing as much as he likes because that's his passion. Take it from him. We can learn a lot from him. Oh, I get hurt because of me. Can I tell him the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Okay, I guess we're roleplaying it. Roleplay? Actually, sounds kind of fun. Which one of us will be Undyne? Um... I... I'll be Undyne because I don't want to impersonate you. <laughs> All right, obviously. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. Oh my god. Thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. Hee hee hee. Uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about some. Then she kisses you. <laughs> what? Undyne would never uh. Kiss her back. Softly. I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. Oh, Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again. Undyne. What, uh, what'd you just say? Undyne, it's not what I was, it looks like. I was just role playing with this other person. Screaming your name. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute, what's the occasion? Wait a second, are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, uh, oh. Actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. That's real fucking weird. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What about what? About, well, everything. I told you to see it with... Okay, she's... She's just going off. I don't even need glasses. The cosmetic, I don't even have a prescription. I'm not a real scientist. Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. But I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm done, I really think you need, okay? Alphys. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. I know just the training you need to do that. That's why I threw you in this dumpster. Undyne, you. You're gonna train me. What, me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. What's going on here? Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps. Hooshin' about how great we are. Ready, I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? I have bad news for you. <laughs> what? I don't have the heart to say it. It's real. Ha ha ha, I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses. Here I come. 
thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're gonna get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. That was real fucking weird. <laughs> Um, where are we heading next? Do I just go back to the lab? Oh, howdy. This is my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. You're uh, you're also mutual friend. Alfie's and I finish our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and, and for no apparent reason. I should also go there, to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Uh, make our way out of there. If I can get the boat. This is all necessary for some godforsaken reason for the true ending. <laughs> Should have worn a few million more pairs of pants today. Lulu, thank you for 1,500 bits. Thank you very much. Ra, thank you for 300 bits as well. Thanks. Thank you for the 500, even. And the kind words. Okay. We're near the end. Where is she? Oh, she upstairs. Oh! It's a note from Alfie's. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. What's happening here? Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. Head of st stability. Okay, right, well, we're, we're in trouble. This isn't creepy at all. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Carol, thanks for 500 bits. Barrier is locked up on my soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power. Determination. Uh-oh. True laboratory. Oh, you can buy some chips. Uh, I don't have any money. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Here we are! Fucking Kirby flashbacks here. <laughs> Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. 
It's still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject the termination into them? If souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? No in the ground, you can't make it out at all. Drain, drop it. There's a switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. The name of the song is Here We Are. Oh, okay, right, I didn't know. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Oh. Blank drew near. Ah. Uh. Okay. What are we doing? Take out our phone. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Just, uh, just steer clear. But nobody came. Memory head. I take it I want to refuse. Seeing you become one of us, it's a real together. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. There's the red key. Okay, pop that in. Yeah, so Alfie's, Alfie's is just a monster. <laughs> oh no! Entry number 12. Then this happened and I don't know what to do. I just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of it, oh, the bodies opened its eyes. Empty dog food bowl. Did that bed just seems like a comfy bed? You could probably climb into it if you felt if you were to the left of it. Let's have a nap. Do I just want to stay here a while? There's a spoon. He's got something to say. Pat Pat. Can I get up now? Get a good rest. Thank you, Spoon. He's friend. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around talking like nothing is wrong. Thought they were goners. Seems like this research was a dead end. At least we got a happy ending out of it. Sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden. Called all the families and told them everyone's alive. Send everyone back tomorrow. But she didn't. No, 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 no. He's waving, it's the spoon. Thanks for the green key. I 
He's got some tunes on in the shower. He's like, he's headbanging, yeah. Can a guy get some privacy? <laughs> Adam Meditons made it big. He never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. And we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There you go. It's a friend. The amalgamate. I mean, he's just a dog, I imagine. You call the amalgamate. Bounce toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh God, I don't like this version of the dog. Okay, he's looking for affection. Give him a pet. Pet the amalgamate. Convulses rapidly, then calms down. Rest quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wild wildly on the walls. Cargo, please. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you, proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans and strip an amorphous body on you. This is just unsettling. <laughs> He's twitching affectionately, so I gotta pet him, yeah? This has to generate a stage one happiness fraud. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> Sussy! Stay determined. Oh, I don't have the key over here anymore now as well, do I? Let's just go for a quick old stroll. There we go. I think we can get through it. We can get through here tonight, yeah? Do it in the next hour or so. I reckon we can. Okay, press the switch. Hello, dog friend. We just gotta survive three of his attacks. Okay, beckon. He's just gonna shoot a while. A uh, pet. He's engaged. Play. Uh, and give him a pet. Okay, he's happy now. I still can't spare him. Do I need to pet him again? You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogony is contented. There we go. He's okay.
Are you enjoying this? I've enjoyed most of the game. Some of it I really don't like. I think the flowery fight is stupid, and I think you should delete that from the game. At least in this current form. What about something that's neither human nor monster? Bad take? I mean, it's just Flash and Images Central, like, there's no excuse for it. And, like, it also just half-assedly crashes the game. I, I don't like that as a mechanic. I think that's pointless. That's trying to be meta for the sake of it. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Go for a stroll. Oh! That's a bit fucked up! Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Where? Hump. There's a man there. Oh. Okay. That helps. Fucking binded of Isaac ass enemy here. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Pray? Blank remembers its conscience. Lord. It's not enough, apparently. Power Place needs your help. I'm streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Power Place, please. Like, what? What, they brought it back? That's neat. This isn't the time or place. Why is there a load of people shouting about our place all of a moment? You need to place your pixel. Go to our place, help Ireland. <laughs> I'm streaming. Hang on, let me stop the stream. Hang on. Confused. I've seen a few people just saying that, but I don't understand why. Who cares? Have a look at it later. It's a fun little experiment. I didn't realize they were doing it again. It's neat. That's all I can say. Uh, mystify. I think you're supposed to try and work out what monsters are in here. But I, I really can't. I've gotten two of them. Can I clean it? Eyes on the bird. Yeah, I can't tell. Is it pick on? I think I've done everything now. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Seems play said it. Reaper bird's gone. Oh. 
cold. That's all you can read. Okay, so I need to go somewhere cold for that one. Okay, save. Uh, where should I be heading next? Was there another path back here? Up and left. Cool. Oh yeah, here's the thing. Oh. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. Roseburg? I recognize- I think I recognize the flex bit. Unhug was one. In my special hell. God, that's a bit menacing. Uh... Flex. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. Oh, is Grossberg do it at the True Lab? I need to do something else. Uh, do I keep flexing? I can hum. I remember something. Felt this before. Could this be goodbye? Looks a bit like Flowey's face. Uh, okay. Cold. It, it must be in a fridge. One of the fridges shook there. It's so cold. Amalgamate. Joke. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha, I remember. Laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. This is... This is just weird. <laughs> uh... Heckle? Say something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that. No I think Joke was the only one that got a response. What a bad pun about snow. Expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. So cold. She's completely calmed down. You won. Okay, blue key? Uh, here's the green one. Spent all my time at the garbage dump, now it's my element. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found it looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Uh, 
uh, I'll eat one of these. VHS player with a few tapes pick picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Gory, wake up. What is it, dear? And why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dear, this was my favorite vegetable. Carrots, right? Oh no, my favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet! Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian. Ho ho ho! Very excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori, that one was funny. I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. It's this too dark in here for the video to come out. There's no video on the video. <laughs> I mean, that's cute. Um, in the interest of time, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to read them all. I'll be honest. We might have to do I can check them out later or something. I've been researching humans to see if I could find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. They're pretty short. If you want me to watch those tapes, we don't finish the game till next year. Your call. Which is it gonna be? We don't have time. The switch doesn't do anything. Oh, where is that other door? Go buy another burger. Ah, it was down here. Okay. okay. Blue key, slot it. I just need one more. This is gonna take more than an hour still. You're not gonna finish the game for next year anyway. Well, do you want... <laughs> I don't know what to do then. Is it gonna take more than an hour? Or is there like loads more to go? Honestly, we're close. Yeah, we're just missing one bit. Uh. I'm getting some internet errors, which is weird. I can't see chat anymore. What did that happen? There we go. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, where have I got to go for this next one, then? I need, I need one more. Tape room for the key. Is there one in a bed? Something under the sheets. Nice. It's not that room. I keep thinking of this. Yellow key, now we head on back. I miss Spoon Man. Spoon Man was nice. Just wanted to tuck us in.
Okay, we're going back. Oh, hang on, wait, let me save it here. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. And the monitors are turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Oh, that's not good. Hey, stop. Got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. So, uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike human, mo human monsters' bodies, Unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what f physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. Uh, I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Power's back on. That can't be good. <laughs> it's a voice you have never heard before. Sussy. <laughs> Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Sussy. See you soon. Uh oh. Uh, can uh, I can hop across here real quick? There's no save point there. That's interesting. No sense. We're good. <laughs> Still no save point. Is it back here? There's a save point. Oh, 
Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? Do I do this again? Yes, okay. I see. This is it then. Ready. I gotta fight him a third time. <laughs> Twilight's shining, shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with... Determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh! Okay, that- that's- that's a bit different. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. You're not Tori me, Dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans and come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather right wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Sorry. You're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, I think we can at least be friends again. <sighs> no, Asgore. Oh, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll. I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then it'll, it, I'll be forced to ask Gundyne for help! Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey, guys. Uh, what's up? That voice! You're Sans Undertale! I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I, uh, recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does the skeleton tile this roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles. No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Und Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you've just gotta, uh... Stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh... Just get to know a really cute fish. What the fuck is this moral? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerves of that guy. Right, Elfies. Uh, 
uh, Alfie's? No, he's right. Let's do it. <gasps> well, uh, I guess if you wanna. Then, don't hold anything back. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> Thank you, Toriel. Wait, not in front of the human. All oh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. We have to protect our virginity. Hee hee hee. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everyone? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. Tiny flower. Uh oh. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. Wait a minute. This is a video game! It's getting meta. It's getting meta. This is like characters in a book saying, I'm not some character in a novel. Like, yeah, okay, alright. <laughs> Let's get you back to bed. <laughs> Whoa, how meta and zany. And what would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you. Just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Hee hee hee. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. That's not ideal. Even if it means killing you a million times. Well, there's not much I can do here. Will the power of friendship persevere? Thank you. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're here with you all the way. Huh? You haven't, uh, beaten this guy yet. Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. And Sans should know. Don't forget. Actually, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the sake of the future of humans and monsters, I have to say determined. With you too, come on, you got this. You've gotta win, you can do this. Er, uh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You! I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. It's uh, getting a bit bright. Oh, hello.
You wanna... You wanna say hi? You wanna turn the faces? Petrio, thank you for the raid. Thank you very much. You joined us at the very end. It's Sans! Oh my god! The final fight begins! No, it's not Sans. But that is him in the top left corner. <laughs> he's, he's having a good time. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Sussy, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel Dreamer. It's the end. Okay, I mean, this is it. Hope and dream. Held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Thank God for that. It's the end. That's a bit trippy. Dream. Think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting get smaller and smaller. He gave me items. Oh my. Okay, that's actually really painful on the eyes. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's painful on the eyes. But it refused. Bit ready to struggle. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I don't particularly care what your vision is. If you have to resort to flashing images, you've done something wrong, right? <laughs> I could do without a lot of this right now, but we'll make do. Shit. Dreaming heals uh, heals us a little bit as well. You know, I don't care about you destroying this world anymore. Like, no, like, yeah, th this is this is awful. Oh my god, this is horrible. After I defeat you and gain total control of the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh my god, can you stop flashing more shit on the screen? I've already got a headache. Last dream. Your determination, your dream became true, your HP was maxed out. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. I've got it, like, my monitor is completely dim now. <laughs> Damage reduce, and we can do everything all over again. You ready, it's Chaos Buster? I oh, it's... uh, sure. Let me eat a burger real quick. You know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Hit. Could you pick colors other than red and green? <laughs> the 
Is that idea of minor epilepsy? No, not at all. This is just really painful to look at. Your, item your items fill up with dreams. There we go. Yeah, do I need a hope or dream? I'm just filling up my inventory with healing items, yeah. Hope is probably the one I want to do each turn. Can help. <laughs> and hope, then you'll lose to me again. Get last dream. And again. Uh, just keep hoping. And again. Jesus. Hope again! Hold on to hope! Cause you want a happy ending. Use mercy. Uh, do I need to do mercy? Oh, shit, I got- okay, I gotta heal first. Hang on. No, I don't have to. Can I use hope? Yeah, I should use hope then. Oh, God. I can also just eat dreams. Because you'll never give up. Oh, okay, that's new. Eat the pie. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Keep hoping. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purchase timeline once and for all. Hello there. I take it I don't want to get sucked into the void. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. I, I can't use an item. Oh. Okay, at least there's less flashing. Holy shit, my eyes. <laughs> Still kind of bad, but Jesus. Struggle. Can't move your body. Hold my true power. Well. 
I don't know what to do there. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. You can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. It's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> I can't heal. Still, come on. Show me what good your determination is now. <laughs> can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. Tried to reach your save file, nothing happened. Tried again to reach your save file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, what little power you have, you can save something else. Save? Okay, I get him back, do I? You reach out to Asriel's soul and call out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? In the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> There's so many options. Just give Toriel a hug. Hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Alright! The lost souls stand there. Do I just hug them both? Hug the lost soul. Seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. The lost souls stand there. Get me out of here! You hope the last soul will tell you you're gonna see her again. Something about this is so familiar. We are ending this game tonight. <laughs> so help me God! Keep hugging. Suddenly his memories are flooding back. The fate is up to you now. You are our future. Two of them are saved. Okay, get Undyne next. I think they're in pairs. No! No, this is one. Uh, fake hit. Tap the last soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Last soul stands there. Recipe. You ask the last soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Uh, smile. You gave the last soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Okay, get Alfie's next. Lost Soul appeared. Nerd out. Go ask the Lost Soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. Oh, God. She likes anime. Go ask the Lost Soul for help in a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. Call her. She loves to call us on the phone constantly. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Pyrus, 
the depths of Azure Soul, something's resonating. They're together. Act. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Just give up, I did. Oh! I know you're in there, Sans Undertale! Let's save Papyrus first, hang on. Puzzle. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Gotta tell him a joke. Tell the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. My friend, I can never I can never capture you! No. <laughs> You're my friend, I can never capture you. There we go. Yeah, I'm uh rooting for you, kid. I'm uh glad you didn't pick the judgment option there. Wouldn't wanna have to encounter you. It's something to do with that there. Wouldn't I not? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began to resonate within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Flame Heats Man! Remember my name, because it'll be important! What are you doing? Oh. We're going to save him. Feel your fro friend's souls resonate within Azrael. <laughs> Fight! Like, what? You get this far and kill the final guy. <laughs> get him! <laughs> no, save. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Go, give it a rest, buddy. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Good Christ. Uh, quickly, inhale a quiche. Sussy, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around. I'm doing this, because you're special, sussy. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. It's just nicer being the imposter. Compared to a regular crewmate, the lobbies are just so boring. There's not a lot of gameplay going on. You're my sussy backa. And you're my real friend all along. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, sussy. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. Among Us has only been hit top of the charts for like the last year and a half or so. It's too early for it at the end. We still gotta keep it in the main spotlight. It's so much friend. Fun. Remember when you play with all your friends? And when it came out on mobile? God, it was so much fun, wasn't it? And there was like a few weeks where we didn't know who was the imposter, but it didn't matter because we were all having fun together. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, 
stop doing this. And just let me win. I never win the round. Every time I try it, my crewmates just don't finish their tasks. Stop it. We just always won away. And then the lights go out, and then the last teammate dies, and there's someone in the med bay. Sussy. I'm so alone, Sussy. I'm so afraid, Sussy. Sussy, I... I... I don't know how to vent, Sussy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, sussy? I know. You're not actually sussy, are you? You were a crewmate all along. Sussy's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk. That's... A nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sands, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you. It feels like they all really love you. Ha ha. Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Will you forgive me for being the imposter? What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. I'm going to eject them from the ship. <laughs> I'm going to eject them from the underground. We're going to play a new lobby of Among Us on the new airship map. It's going to be so much fun. I haven't played since the game came out on PC. barrier was destroyed. Azriel was the imposter. <laughs> Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. It's okay, I won't vote to eject you. I don't want to let go. Frisk. You're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. 
everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Frisk! This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up! Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. I was so worried. I felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time we decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah. You made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What uh, What did you catch? Tears. Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Yeah, Toriel, I'm, uh, I'm really feeling it. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, from what? I am not certain. Frisk, do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk and say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other! Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. You're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, uh... Because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Haha, <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then, uh... Why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. You gotta talk to them all. Okay, we'll talk to Sans last. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, uh, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Don't worry, Papyrus. I can think of one that's worse. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, uh, of course, I'm, I'm gonna go out and, um, no, I, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit? Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Here, here, chat. <laughs> We're all in this together. <laughs> ah, Papyrus is the right idea. Losing the frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an anim... You don't know what you're asking, Asgore. You want to steer away from this line of question, okay? It's a dark path to walk down and you're not ready for it. Oh my god! Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... 
Ah, uh, with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds needle. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. That's very questionable if that's on your phone, Elvis. <laughs> have a look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong. Well, <laughs> I think this is the worst ending. No, oh, yeah, forget the shit I did. It's just Alfie's. Golly, were those two robots? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kissing. Boy. Technology sure is some, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it sure is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Ascor. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. Mr. Undertale. Briska. Uh, Dory was telling me about how she made some bee scotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that's uh, uh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It'd be fun if we cook together. And, and second thoughts, maybe I'll order a pizza. He's a man of few words, Sans. He doesn't have much to say. Sorry, uh, don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be, uh, working right now. But you aren't working. I know, and it's, uh, taking all my concentration. Got the true end. Wait, wait, is this the right way to go? That might not be the right way. Is it down or that way? Hang on, which this is this is embarrassing. This is the right way. That is the final exit. Okay. Snowman! You made it. Do I just take him with me? Bring him with me. Let's go through the door. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Wait, wait, one thing. What if I just, like, quickly eat them? <laughs> what if he doesn't make it? Let me just consume a dream real quick. The dream came true. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Let's end this game.
Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? Everyone. Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Brisk, you live with this. The sunlight is so nice. The air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call it... Uh, we call it the sun, my friend. That's the sun! Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? We should really think about what comes next. Oh, right! Everyone! This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Brisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? I'd love to. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll, I'll go make a good first impression. Well, uh, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything. Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. <laughs> Relationship repaired. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to. Do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. I'll stay with her. All right. I'll stay with you. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hee hee hee. Well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you. For as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. We did it. <sighs> Jesus. Entire cast. Froggit and Wimson. Braver every day, professional frog. Mold Small and Luke's. Found in the UK, reformed Wooly. Popular nutritionist and casually enjoys life. Naps to Bluke. He's now a spooky DJ. Papyrus, he got his dream. Sans is just keeping up with him. More enemies. Still looking for laughs, thinking about its hat. Christmas display has his own CNI dog. Some of the names are yellow, what does that signify? Is that like a particular way of dealing with them? Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Bless. Lesser dog and greater dog. Searching for affection, excited by life's changes. Oh, we didn't pet him enough. We got to go to the sea. Undyne and Alfie's. Less. Oh, 
Alfie's dead. All right, that, that's fine. We still got the good ending. It was short-lived. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Oh God. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. <laughs> Temi scares me. Did Metatone go Broadway? He did. They got the entire gang together. He's got legs for days now. Spoken by Magno Ma Magnolia Porter. There's some like odd names just thrown in, yeah. Muffet by Michelle. Spider success with a new bakery. Use your imagination. Not safe for work. In life, its own meaning. The long battle finally ends. Domineering glass seller. made their way in the world. Street magician taking a well-deserved nap. Amalgamates living with their families. There's Asgore. Monster kid as well. He's like adopted him. Toriel's here too! She got to be a teacher. She started her school. The end? Ha <laughs> ha Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh no. No! I don't see how I get through those ones. I'm trying. I don't see anywhere that's safe. Some of the names are too long. Just hide here. Hide here. I think we might be safe. We might be okay. Just... <laughs> I think we were supposed to just thread the needle there, but it's fine. The real final boss is all the Kickstarter backers. Damn you, Jack. Lord. <laughs> Come on! Touch credits, damn you all. <laughs> damn it, they got me. Annoyed is right. Thanks to friends and families for supporting us. And under team team Undertale team, thanks to you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this would have been impossible. Good night.
Good night, everyone. She made some butterscotch pie for us. Well, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I got the end and I want it. April Fools, everyone. <laughs> We did it the way we want it! So for those that missed the start of the stream... You might want to go back and watch it. We got the best possible ending. And I couldn't be happier. Oh, God almighty, it's been a marathon. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming by today. Oh, we beat Undertale! We did it all! What did you do? We beat Sans Undertale. We just happened to do it in the first 10 minutes of the stream. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. Thank Jesus Christ, there's a lot of subs. <laughs> oh my god, it's going. Thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave gift subs. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods for being on hand. There is no stream tomorrow, I'm taking the day off. I'm taking the day off. We beat all of Undertale. We did, got, we did genocide and pacifist in the same stream. And we got the best possible timeline. Real talk. I was really scared we would not get Sans first try. I practiced that fight all of this week so I could get it first try on stream. I've defeated San seven times this week now. <laughs> Just because I wanted to get it right. And I wanted to surprise people with that. Also, uh, uh, last moment of uh, silence for... <laughs> Legendary uh, custom screen that we have for today. It, it it's terrible. This is the worst screen I've ever done in a stream. Ever. <laughs> oh God, we did everything. The game is beaten. Well, see you all next year for April Fools. Who's streaming? Whose carry do I leave you in? Oh god. I'm trying to see. I don't I don't know who's actually going. Okay, uh 
go say hey to Strippin. Strippins, go. <sighs> April Fools, everyone, would be Undertale. Never playing it again. <laughs> Never. He's dead. Now I sleep. Sans is dead. You never let say his name again. Good night.